What is up everybody? It's the Inhuman One here with part 42 of the Elden Ring playthrough. We're at 140 hours in this playthrough. Wowza. And we are in uh, the crumbling Ferrum Azula area, a place warped and twisted by time itself. And these never-ending tornadoes, which look amazing. Okay, so we got a few things we're going to do. There were tons of different... Uh, sites of grace and whatever else all around this area i didn't realize there'd be so many uh, so i'd like to explore to the best of my ability see which ones you know lead to hopefully finite areas that actually end so that we can circle back and then complete whatever challenges may be in this area before we move back on to millennia and defeat her i have every every intention to beat her today badly so get ready I do believe this is where we fought. Okay, yep. So I need to go up here. We went down here. Then this was the transept area. Now what? Go down here, I suppose. Hey, we've got some blocks and stuff. Okay. Maybe that was just an alternate pathway up to the Godskin duo, maybe? Here I thought we were going to be going in to a whole other area. It's an oddly placed site of grace, though. Maybe if we just would have come from an alternate angle, that's the purpose of that area. Because otherwise I have no idea what purpose it would serve. This is the staircase that goes up where Recusant Bernal was. And I'm just getting my bearings again. I... Must be a balcony up above us. Yep, and then this path. I'm not familiar with this path. I think there was an item up here and a knight to the left. Okay. Let's go back one more time to that side of grace that I just passed up because it doesn't make a ton of sense. Could be over here, right? Is this it? Yeah, the transept. Okay. So what is the purpose of this one? I'm looking to see if maybe there's... An alternate pathway, or maybe another way down from these crumbling rocks, which I see no such thing. And I know we dropped down from up there earlier. Okay, well, in that case, we're going to go to the tempest-facing balcony, and we will then uh, go ahead and explore the other side of things. I'm adjusting the volume really quickly. There you go. Alright, so now instead of here, we're going to go this way, go straight across, and we are going to jump inside the, or jump down the lift. We've got all these beastmen chasing us. So we, we still have to find Alexander. I mean, that's a huge, huge find. We definitely need to find him, um... There's a few other things we need to do as well, so I'm just hoping that we find all that stuff. Let's drop down here. We're going to explore this area to the fullest, as per usual, and then we'll continue on our merry way back to the Halic Tree. Alright, and of course we do have the worm faces we got to deal with at some point as well. Which, as if on cue are making their way up now. Oh, your stick weapon. Those delays are just insane. Goodbye, Mr. Mimic Wannabe. I do believe this is where we first faced off with the uh, worm faces, so... Now we can circle around. This is where we fought the dragon. Why are my runes over there? I defeated the dragon. Jump! That's a big leap. Oh my goodness, okay. There you go. Got it. 
I think I died after I tried jumping back, right? If I recall correctly. Uh, it's all coming back to me now. Beat the dragon first try, then died in the platforming sequence. That eh, sounds about right. Okay, so we've circled around there. Excellent. I do believe this is simply just another way to drop down from here. But it looked like there was a higher path up here. No, there's not. I digress. Let's go this way then. See if there's anything over here before we drop down. I hear the worm face enemies, but I don't see too many of them. I only see like one or two. Let's go ahead and take them out quick. Very nice. We'll let the the death blight die down just a bit. Get the sacrificial twig. We'll see if we can get the drop on some of these guys. I'm going to see if there's anything else up here as well. Nothing behind the tree. Ah. We got this guy. Would have been an ambush. Nice stomp. Time to die, and I die too. <laughs> oh, it looks like that's how uh, Sorcerer Roger died. We didn't get to see those spines go through him and all that, but we definitely uh, saw him die very similarly, and he was seemingly lifted up, but it must have been the death light that got to him. Oh, this is the wrong way. Okay. Gotta go down that lift again. My bad, guys. That's what happens when you Elden Ring half asleep. So we're gonna go ahead and take this lift. And then from here, whenever we get down, we'll just be making a left so we can go ahead and grab the item from the enemy that would have uh, ambushed us. The funny thing is that same enemy killed us even though we defeated him. It was just a matter of me being a little bit sloppy and not watching my blight or my death blight. That vitality meter will build up quickly or fill up quickly if you're not careful, so. We'll circle around this way. And we'll come over here. This is all safe until we get around to this corner. Go ahead and beast out. There's enough of that. He's just spewing that stuff everywhere. Very nice. Uh, we can see what's around this side. We have these enemies over here that were spewing all over the place. Looks like there's a little puppy dog over there. But while we're safe up on this higher level, let's check it out. I guess that's the extent of the secrets, huh? That blight does not go away quickly. Still can't summon torrent, so that sucks. We'll have to circle back and make sure we didn't miss any little items over there. We got a big boy over there. That means we need to take out this one first. Fortunately, that one hasn't aggroed yet, which is great. There you go. Take that one out. Now we can go ahead and rock sling this one to death as well. 
That means we'll be able to take out the giant one solo. As long as the actual rocks don't miss here. There we go. Dodge. We'll get one more hit in. Why not? Swinging like crazy. Alright, he's dead. Now we'll go ahead and take this one out. Rejuvenating boluses. I do believe that's for the vitality. Hard to see you, bud. You're way up there. Grab attempt and a successful attempt at that. Got to flask up as soon as I can. Nice. I, think I, I can get to his feet over here. Oh, that's not gonna work. Just raining that death blight all over us. There you go, he actually ran out of it. Very nice. I'm gonna have to probably use some rock slings because it's really hard to hit him. He keeps trying to grab me as well. Multiple times. There you go. Finally took him out. I was thinking of the back up and give some rock sling, but those multiple attempts at grabbing, but that's fine. We survived it nonetheless. Smithing stone eight. We'll go see what's over here on this little pagoda. The glove wart pickers bell bearing three. Very nice. We're getting all the rest of the glove wart and the ghost wart, also the uh, smithing stone and somber smithing stone bells here, which is fantastic. Those are excellent finds that will help us pretty much infinitely or have access to infinite uh, bolstering material so we can upgrade every weapon. We'll have to come over here and see what they got. Let's see. Let's do some exploring. Nothing over here. There's some dragons from afar. We've got an ambush. Please quit spewing that stuff. Okay, thank you. They typically drop excrement, gold tinged excrement, and then we got some gravel. <clears throat> we can use that for dragon wound grease. So that's it, huh? I was looking to see if there's anything else down here, but it doesn't seem like there will be. I'm not even sure if we can make our way back up. Without the double jump capability with that Torrent has, I don't know if I can. Oh my gosh, that scared me. I thought that was a ravine that I was going to die in. <laughs> that was terrifying. So they're still up there. Let me see. I don't know if I can make those jumps, but I'll certainly try. There it is. Yay. Yay for a dedicated jump button. That dog probably won't aggro. Nice. Oh, okay. Hi. The dog got not It probably won't aggro aggroes immediately. I forgot those things have good sniffers. They can sniff you out from a mile away. Okay, so let me just confirm here. Have to go inside the dog's cave at some point too. 
There you go. Somber Smithing Stone 9. Very nice. Okay. Very good indeed. Now we can circle back up. What's up, baby? It's Friday, so... Last day of the work week. That's exciting. Let's drop down here. This is where the pup was. He was guarding nothing at all. He was just there just in case I wanted to attack his friend. He could ambush me. The little bastard. And there's nothing here either. Okay, what manner of sorcery is this? A very strange area. It's it's laid out very weird. I can't make any of those jumps either. Cause I was thinking maybe I could jump up from here, but it doesn't seem to be the case. I don't know. I'm confusion. Maybe that's the extent of this area. I'm not entirely sure. This guy, I'm assuming, was supposed to ambush me. Do you hear me? There it is. Okay, so... <clears throat> yeah, I see. He's definitely guarding an item that would be attainable. How? I don't know. Don't know how to reach that. Where's the door? What's going on, my brother? You doing all great? You doing all right today? Oh, there's a ladder. Oh, <laughs> that's how that works. It's hard to see ladders whenever you're getting um, attacked by rabid dogs and worm faces, but you know, we found it. Now I just need to make sure nothing attacks me or ambushes me. I don't believe. I'll be ambushed. That worm face seems to be facing this direction, and there, the bridge is broken, so nothing else should attack me. Here goes. Before he stands up, or attacks, he should die. There you go. Let's get out of this death blight here. We got a smithing stone eight. Yep, I'm doing great. Good uh, good to hear. Good to hear. I'm also doing great. It's an excellent day. I'm playing Elden Ring. Can't complain. I am in the area called Crumbling Ferrum Azula, and I am waiting to uh, get through the rest of this area. There's a ton of secrets everywhere, so lots of different pathways all over the place. So all I'm trying to do is see if I can find them all, if possible. Okay, there's no way I can jump across there. Okay. Let me try and jump off from here, actually, because I don't think there'll be anything special, but I'd like to try. It just looks cool. Better than going down a ladder. And I thought there was one more. Yep. Now we're back over here. I wonder if there's a ladder over here that I just completely missed. That is very possible considering I was being attacked by enemies from every angle. So let's see. We're going to circle around and see if there's any ladder to take up. If not, we'll return back to the other area. There's a lot of sites of grace we have to explore. Let's see. Nothing back over here. Nope. Nothing on this side. We'll check this other side as well. Inquisitor says, I've seen that this area has a lot of drops on lower platforms and hidden items. Oh yeah, this place seems to have a bunch of stuff based on my personal experience. As, I, as, I, as you know, I haven't seen any guides. So this is just me playing blind. Trying to do a, as close to 100% run. I call it a 99% run. And I've been, I put in 140 hours in this file. And I would say very safely that I have explored almost everything. Okay, so temple facing balcony. 
we're gonna go from here again just so I can kind of get my bearings we uh, yesterday we explored we beat the Godskin duo and a handful of other enemies it was pretty rough but it was it was fun I got stuck on millennia for a while in the Halleck tree so um, I'm gonna go back and defeat her today I need to make my way over to him uh, but I'm not sure how to get there just yet. So far, I haven't been successful. It looks like it's easy to get up there, but I've yet to find a way up to that platform. So uh, let me see now if we can circle back a bit and find a way up. Hello, friend. Don't do that. Don't do it. Just shred through him with this. Ah! These hook claws. These guys hit so hard. I missed. Where's the sorcerer? He must be above me. He's the one causing all the issues. Sanctuary stone. There you go. Very nice. We'll go upstairs and take this fool out. We've actually come from this other side here earlier, so... Maybe this is a way I can jump out on top of a, off a balcony or something, I don't know. Gotcha. Nice. Love your attacks, because they're easy to dodge. Let me go ahead and flask up. We're going aggressively here. We haven't been up there either. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well... Surprise this guy over here. Finish him off right now. Yeah, let's go back around then. <clears throat> How's your file going, Quisidor? Have you obtained some of your items that you're looking for and kind of got back to where you left off before your save file got corrupted? It must be a way. It must be a way. It must be a way. Well, that's not the way out just yet. I was looking for something. Maybe the, one of these windows is open. I typically walk past open windows almost every time. There's nothing over here yet. This is where we were. I think this would be the lift, and that is the side opposite the lift. My file's doing fine. Slow progress, but fine. Yeah, that's all right. I understand that, especially after you put so much time into it and then it's like, gone, you know? This is the very beginning. Okay. I'm looking for a way up. So this is just gonna be right back to the lift. Could probably jump up here, right? Yeah. That looks doable. Ah, I didn't do this last time. Okay. That would be where the body was. Okay. Maybe this is the trick. Oh, yeah. There's some goodies up here, too. A handful of the beast men. Okay. Let's go this way. Grab the goodies. Gravel stone. That's great for making dragon wound grease. Oh my gosh, my back. <clears throat> Don't do it. Told you not to do it. Nice attack. I'm not used to that one. I'm going to have to interrupt that like I do the ant attack. Alright, so now we're good there. Let's circle around. Grab these items over here. Smithing stone six. Ooh, there's a legendary item, and it looks beautiful. This is where I would have been attacked from the top. Okay, very nice. Let's see if we can get a backstab. There's a lot of enemies here. Oh, he's throwing stuff. That's fun. He buffed all their weapons too, I believe. There you go. That was scary. 
And what beautiful item might this be? A great grave glove wart. Very nice. We have a handful of those now. Very good. Very good indeed. Okay, so now we're up here. Is there not a way out onto the surface? I would love to be able to meet with Alexander, but I've been unsuccessful in finding a platform up there. I mean, not that I tried too hard, but we just... That's something that we took note of, and it's something in my notes, so we, we have to find it today. This area reminds me of Dragon Peak from DS3. That is exactly what I was thinking, too. It really does. It's so similar. That one's still alive, and I wonder why. Okay. No worries. Well, at least we found some additional loot up here. Can't jump up there. That's fine. Okay. Tricky, tricky. This area just reminds me exactly of the same <laughs> dragon peak. I forgot the name of it, but I kept saying it's like the dragon area. Alright, so now we can find a way through and progress like we normally would, I guess. Let's pretend. We did a lot of exploration yesterday, actually. Let's see, which pathway is this? There's this where the side of grace is. You have to drop down. So the lift didn't seem to do anything. It would circle back on itself. We searched this yesterday. We do have to drop down. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to find a way back up then. There will be a way. I circled around all this stuff, too. There wasn't much I could do. These respawn, but it's fine. I don't mind going to this area again like I have never done it before. Just because I want to make sure I search everything. I dropped down that hole as well. Well, not that hole, but there is a hole you can drop down. Crossbow guy over there, and this crazy spear users are so annoying. Very nice. One sec, I'm getting messages for days. Alright, here goes. I'm gonna attack this guy. Ooh, nice shot, sir. Very nice. Okay, so those are all taken out. Uh, there was an item up on that perch there in that like broken fragment of the area. It's fine. Got some bolts. Okay, there was nothing more over here than I had to jump across, which I did. There's a crossbowman over there. Yep. And there's some big skeletons over here. You could jump across or drop down. I already explored this area down here as well. There wasn't much else to find. I, I defeated the dragon over on that platform. Kind of just going through and cataloging everything in my mind because I don't remember everything. Uh-oh. That was close. I forgot about you. There's two of you, though. There's another one up there. I already circled all the way back up and around, but I'll do it again just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And then this is the staircase that leads down to the site below the site of Grace over there. This one also can breathe fire. Let's go ahead and flask up. I'm taking lots of damage. Alright, I can't believe he did a horizontal <laughs> strike that went over my head. That was... Great for me, not so good for him. I don't think there's any platforms down here. I believe I searched all that already. Quizzler says, I see you really like the claws. Any other weapon you found interest in? Well, I went with the claws because I wanted to do something different uh, from my Dark Souls 3 run. Because I would have used Uchigatana or the... Uh, I don't know if they have the Onikiri here, but 
um, the Wakazash, Wakazahashi or whatever, like any of those eastern blades would have been nice. But because I had done that previously, I said I'm going to go ahead and try to go with, you know, rapiers, straight swords, things like that. So I wanted to go with like non eastern weapons this time. So, and it kind of fit the prisoner a little bit better too. So I went ahead and, uh, ever since I used these, I grabbed them and I just tried them out. And I loved the blood loss buildup after I fought Margit and died for like an hour, I realized that bleed was very effective. And I used the flail and I inflicted bleed, that's how I beat him. So I was like, oh. So then I saw that this had 60 ble blood loss buildup, so I've been using the hook claws as my primary weapon. Then ra the rapier was always good too. I ended up changing it out for Rogier's co uh, rapier um, once we defeated Godric, and I used that. And it has, you know, just really good. It has a really good move set. It can proc stuff really quickly too. And then I changed it to cold. And then this sword right here, the straight sword, is really nice because it procs sleep. So I've enjoyed those weapons so far. And then, of course, I'm something of a sword mage, so I've been focusing on gravitational sorceries more than anything else. But yeah, right now I'm kind of kind of fixated on like you know, kind of those sets of skills, not changing up too, too much, just because I didn't want to use everything and do all that stuff because I wanted to have a very specific build. But this is going to be an excellent dex build, a dex int build anyway, so... I'm definitely going to uh, continue, you know, using dex weapons on this. And, and of course, you can respec in this game, but I don't really like to respec. I like to just stick with what I got. <laughs> but, yep, that's what we have so far. Those are the weapons I've used primarily. And that's because, um, I, I, you know, I just wanted to stick with those weapons and stay away from the eastern weapons, even though they're beautiful. And I was so tempted to change that up. But, you know, just for the sake of this run, I'm going to... Stick with non-Eastern weapons, even though I absolutely love them. They're my favorite dex weapons, for sure. But I've found a newfound love for the uh, the rapiers and stuff. Weapons that I never thought were worth a damn. They're actually really good. Um, they're excellent for proccing stuff. And Okay, and this is where we grabbed a another glove wart. And then these guys dropped down from us, so... Nothing special there. I think they're already dropping down, right? I saw something. I saw a weird texture, and then I have, I think, jumped from up there at some point. I think. Yeah, I'm fairly certain I've been up there too. Okay, so now we have to go back over and around. Dodge this guy. And then I can tag the side of grace. That way I kind of, you know, I'm just going through it again as if I haven't before. The dragon temple, okay. I remember this area, and then I drop down. So you have to run across. You can explore that lower area we were just at. And you can drop down again. I don't quite remember what was all down here. But we grabbed a bunch of items. And there are still those knights wandering around everywhere. Away with you, evil man. We'll get the backstab and then we'll poke him and finish him off. Very nice. Yeah, there's a lot of weapons I'd love to experiment with, but instead I'm just focusing on collecting everything this run and then experimenting with different weapons, maybe like a new game plus or something. Um, the only thing that I'm really upset with myself about is that I didn't, uh, I didn't ever complete uh, Patches' quest line. I killed him because I didn't know you could actually stop attacking him. He was just complaining, and I don't trust Patches, so I just ended up killing him. So I missed out on his entire quest line. His crest rewards are so unique. So I'm going to have to go back and do a new game plus anyways, which is really upsetting because it's like I spent 140 hours on this, got nearly every item. I've completed nearly every quest. Um, but it's fine. I'm going to end up doing new game plus anyways. Almost every single quest item, which is good. I mean, it, it is what it is. Nice. Not to die from this knight. I got killed by these knights plenty of times. 
Alright, he's dead now. And he dropped me the Banished Knight's Greatsword. Okay, this is where there's a dual wielder and... There's also another one over here. Oh, I didn't grab that item, huh? How sloppy. How sloppy of me. Let's go over here, get a backstab on this guy. I'm probably going to aggro the other one. It's unfortunate, because I don't want to do that, but... Okay, nice. He's blind, so... I didn't aggro him at all. We'll grab this item that I completely missed, the Somber Smithing Stone 9. I'm glad we circled back. Then we can sneak around. These guys have absolutely no... Oh, we got the Banished Knight armor again. Very cool. But I love the claws. The claws have been great. I've never used them before. Never thought they were very viable before either in uh, any other game. But man, oh man. I've made good use of them. And I've defeated some bosses pretty nasty. <laughs> I absolutely love the hook claws. I'll always think of those as some of the best weapons in this game for sure. So then I drop down here. I think the Sight of Grace is up here, right? The transept area. That's where I would have faced off with the Godskin duo. So then I need to circle back. This way. Okay, that's where I came from. Alright, so that is that lower area then. That's the extent of this area. So I do have to pretty much find my way back up. Which, if I was trying to find my way back up, I would just go over here to the left, drop down, and then I do believe this side of Grace would be the transept area. Hold on one second. Alright, that's the transept, and then up here would be the Godskin duo fight. And then we have a few pathways here, let's see here. So from here... We have this area, which... I don't even remember what this would be. Hmm. Puppy dogs. Oh yeah, I think I have been there before. Um, but I didn't drop down to that side. I don't recall doing that anyway. So I remember coming back over here. And maybe I did circle back around because this is just a staircase. Yeah. So I can check that out in just a moment because we have that pathway up there. And then we also have the one I came from. Which is right over there. And we had this balcony area. And then there should be like a staircase somewhere. Okay. So that's that. Oh, it just didn't load in. Okay, it looks so weird. And this is the... Oh, it did, it did, it did. We already got the item on top of the staircase up above. That was fine. We'll knock him off the ledge, hopefully. Yep. Alright. And we can see what's over on this side. I, I remember dropping down. More knights, that's right. We got a system for these guys. If we get a backstab, a charged R2, pokes to proc, and then pokes to the death, we're good to go. Quick and easy. Otherwise, that fight can be pretty tough, with especially with the ones that dual wield. Those are very tough enemies. The stairs up above, that's just an alternate pathway to from the beginning where the other side of Grace would have been. And then this is just a blocked off area. This is the Godskin duo area again. Okay, so now I'm going to go this way. And hopefully this is the one that leads outside. Yep. See if I can drop down. Ah, he's already aggroed, so he's not going to be there anymore. Won't be able to get a plunging attack on him. Yeah, this area is crazy with all the loot. 
Probably should have switched over to my other weapon. That could have killed me. That could have been bad. Need a flask up. It was dealing damage either way because it had lightning, so that's not good. 132,000 runes. I think that's about what I need to level up. Since I rested at the Godskin Duo uh, side of Grace, I should be fine. I'll just go switch back to my Hook Claw so I can be aggressive. Hyper aggressive. Thank you. And then we're going to go this way. Got to pick up those runes. Boss Huggy says, good day, buddy. What's up, man? Good day to you, too, my friend. It's Friday. Quizzler says, rest in peace. Indeed. I got uh, utterly destroyed there. But you know, the funny thing is... No, there's no funny thing about it. The funny thing is... No, there's nothing about it. I was going to say something really smart, but I forgot what I was going to say. There you go. Oh, I hate those uh, knives that this dude throws at me. Yep. It looks so cool, though. You are a beast with those little knives, sir. Oh, he even threw it around the wall. That was awesome. He's dead now. Alright, so now he's gone. Yep, just got home. Been out. I don't have watch time. I'm sorry. I, 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 had, I need to follow age and watch time. The, I was setting them up when I first, first started, but I had no clue how to do it. So I need to, I'm going to put some notes right now. Hold on a sec. I forgot about that. I need to do follow age and watch time. Those are the ones I need to program today. All right, so let's go around here. Uh, we're going to have to be hyper aggressive because uh, shields just won't cut it. Now, uh, we got these little puppy dogs. The only time I will use shields is with the dogs, of course. And then we've got some... Uh, some enemies over here. There should be one that throws stuff. Yeah, that bro right there. He already sees me. We've dropped down there. And we grabbed the runes and stuff, so we should be fine. Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure I can make that. I'm going to take a risk here. I don't really need to do this jump, but I am. Nice. Get away from me. Okay. And we have this bro. He fights really slow, but he's got some good poise. And he's very powerful, too. There you go. Very nice. He's got, I guess, the armored... He's the armored variant, so he's got a little bit more oomph to him. The next side of a grace, we're going to need to go ahead and uh, level up for sure. We have a lot of runes. Don't want to waste them or use them. Or lose them. There was nothing over here. I remember just a bunch of... Um... Beastmen and like some items that we already grabbed. I still have no clue how to get over to Alexander. And then we can go up these set of stairs right here, but then we have this too. I think this is just another little pathway. You can jump down onto, yep, these platforms, and then there's this guy up above. Man, oh man, they get all kinds of pathways to choose from. It gets really confusing really quickly. Just trying to see if there's maybe another set of pathways we can drop down, but I don't think so. So these up here have the uh, lightning, like the dragon lightning, which is that red lightning. Really cool effect. Now, I had jumped across there at some point. Um, I'll do it again just to see where it leads because I don't remember where that's going to take us. If I could get to Alexander, I'd be very happy. I'm going to go to that side for sure. So I can knock him off, and then the one across is just going to be pissed. I'm going to try some. Oh my gosh, hold on, sir. I was not prepared for you. He's going to come around, actually. He's very smart. <laughs> He'll circle around this way. I'm telling you, the AI in this game is just something else. Dead. Okay. Uh, that's just the same staircase. 
We have that pathway we could drop down onto. Man, there's just so many different... Oh, actually, that's a hell of a jump. I don't know if I could make that. I could probably make that jump, but I'm not going to risk it. Instead, I'm going to go through that stone sword key area that I had unlocked previously, and then we'll remember to come back up here as well. So this would have been what? What would this have been? Where does this take me? It takes me up. Okay, good. That's always a good sign. So we're in the stone sword key area. Let's go ahead and check this out. This is a brand new site of grace called Dragon Temple Lift. Okay. So from the Dragon Temple Lift, writing this down, Dragon Temple Lift, we have the area I can jump off to. Jump off. That's like jumping on top of one of those like columns or whatever. All right, let's see. Now, what do we got? Okay, nothing on that side. Looks like we're finally like on flat ground, which is a nice change of pace. We'll attack this one first. I definitely haven't been here. Big boy over here. Oh my gosh, that hurt. Dodge. See if we can get a backstab to slow this guy down. I'm also going to switch over to Frost just because I feel like that might work a little bit. Maybe not. Get behind, get another backstab. That'll finish him off and then we can destroy his remains before he pops back up. Well, he popped back up. I didn't kill him. There you go, now he's dead. We got the Lord's Rune, very nice. Gonna switch over to our sword and shield that we can be a little bit more defensive, a little bit more cautious as we explore this area. And we'll destroy the remains before they reanimate. I forgot to level up, that really sucks because now I have to kill those guys again. Damn it. That's fine. We'll do that in a minute. <clears throat> if I die. <laughs> Not when. If. Take this dog out. Very nice. Grab that sanctuary stone. We'll grab this nascent butterfly times two. Destroy this skeleton over here. Keep working our way up and around, see what we got. We'll explore this pathway before we go on over there. We got a smithing stone seven, very nice. These guys are definitely gonna ambush us. Uh oh. Got a big boy over here. Let's see if we knock him down too. Now they're all coming down, of course, because the big guy's coming. They're a bit more confident now with their friends. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Back away. Nice, I'm died. I died. Well, at least now I can run back over here and level up. Look at all that. That's like an army of them. A whole army. Let me drink some tea real quick. Very nice. Alright. So from up here, we can go circle back to the left again. I wonder if I can sneak past some of these guys, to be honest. Yeah. It definitely seems possible. Now, there was a dog somewhere. I don't know where it was. Oh, there it was. It just camouflaged. Nice. There you go. I couldn't hit it. Couldn't line up that strike for the life of me. We'll go ahead and get this backstab. I charged R2 just to finish him off. Very good. Now we can circle back up and around. Retrieve our runes. 
wherever they are. Oh, here they are. We'll grab this item over here. Golden Rune 12, very nice. this clown all right we got these geniuses over here yo watch out I'm gonna sprint over here reposition Dodge that. Flask up. Stab this bro. Stab this dude next. Get a backstab so I can kind of figure out where the hell's going on here. Back away, get another backstab. Kill this one before it reanimates. Back away. Get another backstab if I can. Nope. Dodge. Oof, that hurt. For the life of me, as I can't get that backstab. I'm gonna flask up, get the charge dart 2 in, finish him off. And then before he reanimates, stab him in the bones. Whew, okay, that was tough. Took out a whole army of them though, so let's go ahead and flask up with our Flask of Cerulean Tears so we can have full magic, or full FP. And I believe this is just the other side of the area that we were just at, but. I forgot I didn't have my shield equipped. <laughs> Helps to block if you have a shield. Certainly does. Alright, so now there's a golden seed up there. We're going to circle back up where this pagoda is. And then we're going to go around and make sure we do a clean sweep of the area. No item over there. No lift. See if we can sneak up on this guy and knock him off the ledge. I see something down there. Oh gosh, that's another Draconic Knight. Oh my l gosh! I can't believe I did that. I should have pressed triangle and down, but instead I pressed circle because somebody was stabbing me. And I jumped off the ledge. Gravity. Okay. That was my fault. That was an excellent kind of sweep, and then of course I uh, made that mistake there. So there's a Draconic Knight down there. Good to know. We got the big guy behind us spewing flames. No worries. Didn't mean to do that. There you go. That's the big boy. This guy's strong. Get a backstab on him. Watch for this one. Okay, he's still backed away. Get another backstab. Knock him down. Kill the other one before he reanimates. Get a charged RT right here. There's a bunch of them now. Lovely.
Seriously. Flask up right here. Use some more FP. Ah, I need a new. <laughs> I was gonna say I used the wrong flask. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's what happens when you get impatient. All right, let's go grab our runes. We're gonna run past most of that. No benefit to killing all of them, anyways. We need to grab our golden seed as well. So we'll run up here. Grab these runes. Grab this item right here. The golden seed. So now I think we can drop down at some point, circle back around to this area, drop down here, and there was an item I saw someone perched on a ledge over here somewhere. There you go. That's Dragon Wound Grease. We've already faced off with two dragons up here on these cliffs, so... I can only imagine who else is here. Nice. Take this guy out. Becoming a nuisance. Mother die again. Go finish him off. Finish you off. Get the remains. Get the remains. Okay, now it's your turn, sir. Good gosh. All right, that took forever. So we could drop down there. That's for sure. Definitely some sort of uh, pathway we can explore down there. But we'll save that for a minute. And there's a dragon, that's fun. Let's go piss off that dragon, shall we? And do you have any lightning attacks? I don't know if it does. I hope not. Dodge that. It doesn't seem to have lightning attacks, which is great. We've only faced off with three Fortis Axe, Lance Axe, and that first one that we we first encountered in the area. Is he spewing? Okay, good, that was close. Dodge that. Oh, I got punched right in the face. Use my flask. Dodge. Dodge. Nice, we got the damage negation there. Didn't take any damage from that, hardly. We took some damage there. And we're gonna sprint through, heal up. Flashlight crazy. Forward. 
hurt, okay? Oh my gosh, that was close. Got a flask up again. Dodge this. Nice. And we got that dragon as well, first try. It's another 21,000 runes, so we have 190,000 now. Definitely can level up. We'll grab the gravel stone. It's ironic that they dropped gravel stone considering it's what's used to create the dragon wound grease. Um, which is their weakness. But it makes sense. It's kind of like using the hardest substance to pierce the hardest substance. Like diamonds can pierce diamonds, you know? What's over here? Just a bro just sitting there? Okay. At some point... Okay, that's actually... I've been here. Okay. That's the one with the hole. The side of grace should be around here somewhere. Alright, nice. So we're just on top of that. Alright, so let's explore this upper area first before we drop down there. We did get a new incantation. Golden Lightning Fortification. An incantation of Erd Tree Worship greatly increases lightning damage negation for the caster and nearby allies. This incantation was used by the Knights of the Erd Tree during the assault by the great ancient dragon Grand Sax and the bitter war of the ancient dragons that followed. Hmm. So Grand Sax must have been in one of the other ancient dragons, and he assaulted, I guess, the Knights of the Erd Tree, and then they probably came back and had a war. Interesting. That's some good lore right there that we didn't know about. Okay, that was the... Uh, let's go ahead and take this guy out. The Golden Sea. I don't see much else over here then. Let's see if uh, we can go across this little area. And jump, okay. It's all I love, I, I love the platforming. I always I encourage you to jump around if possible. If anything seems like it might be out of reach, it probably isn't. Especially if it's just barely out of reach, because you can usually make some nice jumps and uh, find your way over to this area. It looks like we actually found Alexander. Hell yeah. Alexander! We found you. Golden Rune 12. Ah, I see you finally made it here yourself. The city hanging in the air is slowly crumbling. What an incredible place we find ourselves. But that aside, you're certainly a force to be reckoned with, eh? I doubt there's a single soul who could have handled that giant other than you. He was practically a god. Of course, I count myself, the great Alexander, among the many. Which means I've but one thing to ask of you. Would you kindly undertake my ordeal? Come and tell me when you're ready. I've been longing to fight a warrior as accomplished as you. You are ready then, I take it. Then let us begin. I am the great jar warrior. Wait! Oh my gosh, he was for real. I, I thought he was just messing around. I didn't think he actually wanted to fight. Let us become one champion together. Dodge. That hurt. Back away. Oh my gosh, I don't have a lot of health. You're dead, Alexander. Sorry, my friend. Are destined to one day break. But the great Alexander 
lived as a warrior to his last. <laughs> wow, we got the shard of Alexander. Alexander's innards. Very nice. Let's see here. The Shard of Alexander greatly boosts the attack power of skills. Shard of the late Alexander, a shattered warrior jar, greatly boosts the attack power of skills. Scraps of stewed flesh cling to the shard and tatters of ornaments can be seen mingled within the slime. Relics of a red-haired champion, it would seem. Uh-oh. I wonder if that was Radigan or Radon. Okay. And then he also gave us maybe a key item. Maybe we can give it to Jar Baron. Alexander's Innards, a keepsake of the warrior Jar Alexander, found at the core of the dead flesh that once filled the Great Jar. The jars contain dregs inherited from those who came before. Thus, our warriors pass from jar to jar, carrying dreams of greatness. Nice. Okay. Well, that was rough. I almost died there. Let's see if we can continue kind of shimmering across this platform here. It looks like there's some more items. Somber Smithing Stone 7. Uh, definitely can't make it down there yet. I think I may have already been there, actually. This is where, that's the platform that I saw Alexander from. And we got this pathway up here. More and more pathways, it seems. I need some heals. We've got this up here. Yet another precarious jump. So I do not need another dragon to face off with. So there is that. Let's see what's up here first before we drop down. Because I don't think I can make my way back up. Didn't want to get ambushed by this thing. Dead. Terrible. So there's two, there's two enemies over there. And then there's the item that was down on that lower platform. Gotta return and get those items. I panicked. I didn't. I was trying to hit him before I could get, um, before he could strike me. That was not gonna happen. Okay, so from here, what do I do? I need to do some platforming. That's right. And then we do need to drop down. There was that other area as well. I already forgot about that. Okay. You can't reach me. We'll go over here. This is where Alexander was. You know, I'm curious. On my other file, on my level 1 file, I almost died there. I have uh, obtained the warrior jar shard. I did not get that from Alexander. Instead, I got like an upgraded version of it. But I wonder, like... I'm a completionist. I want all of that. So I, want, I wonder how I could get the actual warrior jar shard. Not entirely sure. That'd be another item I have to get. I know Millicent's prosthesis would be an item I'd have to get uh, in a new game plus. Obviously the same goes for patches. So I'll probably have to go and do one more file to get 100% of everything. And complete all the quest lines of course again. All right, then we'll drop down here safely. And then we'll take out this enemy first over here so I can grab my runes.
There you go. And then bones. Now we have this one over here as well. Just making sure there's not another area I can drop down from. I think I could actually, right there. A whole nother area. You need to come out here. You have, you have the advantage in that tight, narrow corridor. Ow! Okay, he's gonna keep slashing. Okay, he's broken. And now he's destroyed. Okay, lovely. So now, I can grab this. The Apostle's Dragon. The Ancient Dragon Apostle's Cookbook. Ancient Dragon Lightning Spear. Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike. Very nice. I don't know if I can make it back up, but I don't care. We can just circle back around if we need to. Somber Smithing Stone 8. Another item. Somber Smithing Stone 8 again. Now I do believe this is where I can see items from afar that I could not reach. Let's try something here. That didn't work. Ah, let me kill these guys real quick so I can actually respawn. Dead and dead. Let me go ahead and make sure I take some cover here and see if at some point I can activate the map. There you go. Now we need to go back over to, I guess it's the, is it the dragon temple? Oh, I think it was Dragon Temple Lift, right? I don't remember. We'll find it. Let's level up real quick. Start bumping up our arcane. I'm looking for Dragon Temple Lift. There. Looks like Alexander's questline's been completed as well. It's crazy. I really like him, but he's gone now. It was only, uh, you know, we knew that was going to happen, though. He saw ultimate power, and then obviously he's seen the deeds we've done, so he's like, you know what? If I can fight you and beat you, then I'm stronger kind of thing, you know? And unfortunately, that was not the case. Not even close. Okay, we're going to jump up here. See, I don't, the reason why I'm coming back here is I don't know if the, this area up above, uh, beyond those two giant skeleton warriors, I don't know if that's a new area where you can actually drop down. It doesn't seem familiar to me, so. The other area that we dropped down from after we obtained the, uh, the cookbook, that was um, an area that we had seen from the beginning, knowing that we could drop down and get some stuff. But I don't know if we can actually um, reach a new area by just doing this platform here. Not only that, but then there is the area down below as well that I have to continue to remember. Because I, if I don't continue saying, continue repeating it, I will forget. We'll drop down here. Come back up. Now, pretty much, I don't really have to worry about these skeletons this go around. I just need to figure out how to make this little jump. Oh, okay, that's just the platform over there. I see. That would have taken us right back to the beginning then. I see. Okay, okay, okay. So we gotta go back to the dragon temple lift then. So we've come full circle, which is a good thing. Now we're starting to piece together the map. The part that I'm a little confused on now is figuring out where I left off at. Um, to explore the rest of that area, because to be honest, I do not remember. Uh, from my last stream, anyways. 
Looks like we've explored the dragon temple. And the dragon temple transept has also been explored. I'm trying to remember where that area was. There were the dogs. I think I can drop down here. Let them posture. Very nice. Drop down here. And this might just take us back to an area we've already been to, but... Let's confirm. Yeah, if I can... That's where the staircase is, and that's where the enemy is down there that I knock off the ledge. Yep, okay. Alright, so it's all coming and coming and coming together at this point. There's this genius over here. That means there's a side of grace right there, yep. Ow. We'll get the parry. And we'll get the charged R2 and get frost at some point. We can finish him off. Banished Knight's Halberd. Very nice. Getting some good drops today. Okay, so... Dragon Temple. Yep, cleared that out. Dragon Temple. Yep, cleared that out. Dragon Temple Lift. We just did. I think the Dragon Temple Rooftop is the only area we need to explore next. Transept. We looked at. Dragon Temple Lift. This might be the next area. And I believe we accidentally trans transported here. Yep, okay, when I leveled up. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So this is where the Crucible Knight was. I dropped down from there. I already obtained those items, and then I just stopped. Okay, that's right. I remember now. Yay! It's all coming back to me. And these things. Oh my gosh. Hate these birds. The hardest enemies in the game. They're not as hard as the ones in uh, the mountaintops. Come here. Okay. Whew. I'm dizzy. Alright, so we got uh, Smithing Stone 6. We've got a ladder we can descend. We've got this over here as well. we got somebody casting sorceries. It's that dragon over there. Wow, okay, so now we have another dragon. Lovely. That is likely a lethal fall. Let's confirm. It sure is. Okay, so that would kill us. Um, but we can access that from another angle, that's fine. Let's see if there's anything we can drop down here. Nope. Alright, so it's time to fight a dragon. But before we do that, let's go up on this uh, rooftop here. Take out this genius. Can't open that door very well. Oh, you gotta love the lightning dragons. Those are fun. Those are too fun. Very nice. He's just spamming his little lightning sorceries. We got an Arteria Leaf times three. That's the ladder we could have climbed down. And then we could drop down there. Very nice. That'll probably actually activate that lift. We're going to defeat that dragon. There's no doubt about it. I'm just uh, checking to see if there's any other goodies around before I have to fight another dragon. I, at this point we're essentially official dragon slayers considering how many we've defeated. Ooh, this is a unique looking chest. I haven't seen one of these in a while. We got the Drake Knight. Very nice. It looks so good too. 
Let's look at that, shall we? Whoa. Okay. Uh, let's do order of acquisition then. Black Iron Helm worn by Drake Knights features the spoils of a dragon catch as an emblem of pride as both dragon hunter and partaker of communion. From birth, Drake Knights speak not a word. They spend their lives pursuing the strength of dragons for its sublime beauty and inspiration of awe. Oh, that's cool. A black iron armor worn by Drake Knights features the spoils of a dragon catch as an emblem of pride as both Dragon Hunter and Partake of Communion. The, cra the cape is crafted with dragon wing membrane. What? Dragon membranes? Oh man. This is awesome. It's gonna look good. I can already I can just taste it. Oh yeah. That looks, oh man, look at the wing. I look like Jeepers Creepers. That looks so good. Gotta say, I love the armor in this game. Dragon wings as the cape. That's awesome. Love it. Alright, back to my, back to the tried and trues. Oh, I can't believe I put on my... I need my Fell Omen cloak. What am I thinking? I'm a king now. And my prisoner's garb. I love that I've been running with like the lowest armor negation or damage negation ever. I'm just like, yeah, let's just go with it. I'd rather look cool. All right. Off we go. That guy's strong. If I can pro yeah, proc the frost, he should be dead before he hits me. In theory. Lightning Great Bolt. Very nice. But was that the extent of the loot here? I suppose it was. That was where we fought the Crucible Knight and obtained the other loot. Mm -hmm. That's where we killed all the birds. Interesting. Well, at least the lift probably works now, right? Let's go ahead and face off with the dragon. That's where we're supposed to go. I see. Oh, secrets. I see. There you go. There's always a second drop off on the lifts. Always. As long as I don't have too many more birds to face off with, I think I can start moving through here. Oh gosh, and it's all covered in water, which is going to enhance the lightning sorceries. Yep, okay, we got it. We do lightning stuff. Bro, okay, 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 stop. He's just casting this like non-stop. No! That's gonna hurt. Time to heal. Time to cast. If I can hit him. There you go. Lovely. We're gonna flask up. I'm gonna be cheap because I don't want to die here. There you go. Okie dokie. And it looks like I think we're out of the water area at least, so that's good. There's this genius over here though too. Yep, 
go ahead and get our last hit in. There you go. Very nice. Are there any more birds? All right, let's do this. We got another land sacks want to be. Oh, my legs. He's almost dead already. Bulliger Bloom and the Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Very nice. Well, this one was nearly dead. I have no clue how or why. But I'm not complaining. Golden Rune 12. And we got a legendary item up there. Very nice. Loving this so far. Absolutely loving it. Let's circle around. Actually, I'm going to equip this just in case there are more birds nearby. I'm going to make this running jump here so I don't die. Oh, I didn't see you there, sir. See if we can bring this guy down as well. There you go. Come join us. It's, it's nice down here. With the flightless. I'm going to go ahead and flask up. Get the smithing stone seven. We'll grab this next golden seed as well. We got plenty of these now. That guy didn't seem to want to fight. That's fine. Oh, never mind. He changed his mind. Okay. So now let's see if we can circle back around here. We don't have tons of flasks left, so we got to be careful. Uh, just mindful of our usage, not careful. We have this legendary item up above. We have 120,000 runes. We'll be able to level up again here before long. A somber ancient dragon smithing stone. We've got so many of these at this point. It's, it's really exciting because if we look at our bolstering materials, we have 10 ancient dragon smithing stones and 6 somber ancient dragon smithing stones. That's just great. Really good. Now we can continue over this way and see. I'm sure it'll take us to the next side of Grace since we've defeated a dragon and whatnot. Uh, are those birds or dogs? Beast men. He's still asleep. Nice. Charged R2 on the way up. The one that sees us is, yep, the mage. Okay. See if we can rock sling him. Oop, I didn't mean to hit his friend. Okay, time to heal. And now we can take out the sorcerer. Nice. No! Two hit combo. I'm surprised they don't ca cause bleed. That could be really bad if they did. Alright, so nothing down here. Just checking to see if there are any ledges we could drop down from. Or drop down onto. From above. Okay, nothing, nothing. Got this genius. Very nice. 
looks like we've got this item over here. It's so hard to see some of the items because they're like all camouflaged in, but we got a somber smithing stone seven. Very good. The sevens and eights were what we were needing. Not necessarily for the somber stones, but definitely for the other ones. It's a nice precarious ledge here. Nice. Ow. Okay, I was going to say, don't do that. He can fall off. Now I'm looking for the next side of grace. Let me also check to see if there is a safe way down. Nope, that would have killed us. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense. They don't make it easy. Ooh. This one's going to have the ability to buff his attacks here. And the water. There you go. That's right. This one has like poise for days. Dead. Okay. So he must be on the other side. Yep, he's right there. We need to take those out first. Those are the bigger threats. All right. Crumbling firm as low. Okay, back here. So I need to go all the way around. Hopefully that dragon does not respawn. I have a feeling it will not, but you never know. Very nice. I'll avoid, ouch, I said we'll try and avoid these geniuses. And we'll sprint through the rest of here. The dragon has been defeated. Fortunately, he was harmed. I don't know why he was injured as it was, but at the beginning of the fight, he already had uh, significantly less health than many of the other dragons we face off with. So he must have been hurt in a battle or something. I'm not entirely sure. It's very interesting, though. Don't want to die there. I'll we'll take this one out next. I'm gonna sprint through. Again, those lightning sorcerers can be a huge problem in the water. That's for sure. See what he dropped us—a sanctuary stone. Nothing too special, but at least we know. At least we know where those are from now. Lovely. He hit me with every single one of those. All right, here it goes. What I'll probably do is. My shield out just in case, and then go this. Somber minor blah blah blah. Okay, we got this genius over here. At least I got my runes. <laughs> we have to make that long trek again. I'm probably gonna have to bait him out then. I'll kill the first one and then back away. The one with the weapon actually became a huge problem. Wish I could use uh, our little friend, Torrent, but I haven't been able to in quite some time. Sprinting around. Nice. We actually dodged a, a bird assault here. Get away, you crazy. We got a bunch of bell bearings that we've obtained as well. I'm really happy about that. Um, I'm hoping that that really shapes up to give us like 
you know, hopefully the entire set of somber smithing stones minus maybe the ancient ones. That'd be really awesome. That way I could level up like every weapon, every weapon that I plan on using anyways. The one behind us is going to aggro. I know that for a fact. I'm going to try and ambush. I didn't forget about you. Alright, this time we're going to play it smart. And we're not going to die. Nice move. They got some excellent moves. I love the AI in this game. It's, too, it's almost too good. They fight like humans. I prefer to fight this one first anyways. Very nice. Now it's just a matter of taking out these geniuses. One should be to the right, one to the left. Got the enhanced sorceries because of the uh, the good old water. Come through here now. Grab the runes. Take out this sorcerer. Give me that. That's what I'm talking about. 147,000 runes. Very nice. Now where are we? This place just keeps going. Let's see here. I was just checking to see if there is any ledge I could drop down onto. That's where the birds were killing us. Nothing out here, doesn't seem. Let's go check just one more time. That's where we fought the dragon, so I believe we're good here. Yeah, that's the bridge. Okay. Just making sure. We'll take this lift up. And we have another side of grace. We'll go ahead and level up again. We're going to bump up our arcane to hopefully 25. Let's see here. Level up. What are my... I, I need to know what I have equipped here. Oh, okay. That's what I have. Okay. The standard talismans. I wasn't sure if I had changed those out. I had been fighting Millennia. I'm going to actually go and kick her ass again. Or not again. For the first time. After this area. So that looks like the top of the area where the worm face is. Oh, I'm not entirely sure that's the case, though. And the funny thing is, like, we, can, we can find out. <laughs> is this a deadly drop, though? That's the question. It sure is. I would have died. I would have died. Alright, so we have this area. I'm not sure where that leads to. And then we have this up here, which is probably a boss. Uh, let's go see what's over here first. See if there's any items we can grab. Alright. 
that's where the puppy dogs were. Then we have this area over here. Looks like it was back into the building, so I'm curious. What's down here? Is that a... Yeah, he's dead dead. Okay. There's beastmen that are dead down here. Cross the frost, finish him off. He's dead as well. So we can descend this ladder here. There's like a bridge area. So that means somebody else has been here. <laughs> okay, one of them's alive. Somber smithing stone eight. See, the thing, the difference between me and that other guy is I'm a bit more thorough. Just a bit. We'll drop down this area here. Slide down the elevator. Remember, there's still the other path on that giant bridge that we just teleported close to. I'm using my lock on, so if you see my camera moving erratically, not only is it the joy or the stick drift, sorry, but also the uh, it's intentional. I'm actually trying to see if there any of these enemies are alive or not. Let's get this goody. Whoa! Hold on now. Recusant Bernal is ready to fight. Okay. You just helped us not too long ago, you fool. You've got a lot of poise. You've got tons of poise. I might need to parry you. I'm not even sure what that does. Bro. Nice. I don't know if I can parry those. Why? I don't have any stamina. Whoops, that's good. Dodge. Nope, or not. Nope. Back away, back away. Why is he fighting me? I love his weapon. I want your weapon. Oh, that hurt. I'm going to try and parry this fool if he doesn't do a jumping attack. Man, you get punished for missing those parries. Like, bad. You're going to flask up too? Genius. That hurt. I was not ready to fight an NPC. This guy is not easy at all. Can't parry him for Nards either. Die! Okay. Oh gosh. Gotta make this count. I can't parry this guy for the life of me. Okay. Time to play smart. I'm not sure if that heals or buffs his weapon. We'll get the counter attack here. He's got tons of health. We saw that in the Godskin duo fight as well. Nice save, jerk. Oh, that might hurt. Whew, this guy's crazy. I'm trying to get a charged R2 in, but that's fine. Recusant Bernal, you've been felled. We got the Blasphemous Claw, the Devourer Scepter, the Beast Champion Helm, Armor, Gauntlets, and Greaves. Oh my goodness. We got so many goodies. Are those all weapons? I 
The Devourer's Scepter. Okay, sweet. 25, 24 strength, 25 faith. Required to wield this bad boy. And it's the Devourer's Scepter with the unique skill called the Devourer of Worlds. Scepter in the shape of a serpent devouring the world. This weapon will one day become the very symbol of the Lord of Blasphemy, one of the legendary armaments. A vision of the future briefly seen by Rykard in his final moments before being devoured by the giant serpent. The unique skills of the Devourer of Worlds charge the scepter with magic strike, a magic and strike it against the ground to steal the HP of all nearby enemies. Dang. It's one of the legendary armaments too. Very nice. Very nice. I don't know how many of those we have at this point, but we also got, I'm assuming, a key item? It's called like the Beast Charm or something like that. And it's probably a... Yeah, talisman, right? Maybe. <laughs> Let's go by order of acquisition just to double check. I have no clue. Nope, wasn't one of those. Okay. Is it a key item? It's not a melee item. We just checked those. I know it wasn't an Ash of War. It definitely wasn't a sorcery either. What the heck was it then? Bell bearings, okay. I have no clue what that was then. Maybe it's a tool. It is. Deflects the plow the power of the black blade. The black blade, okay. A slab of rock engraved with traces of the rune of death can deflect the power of the black blade. On the night of the dire plot, Rani rewarded Praetor Rykard with these traces. Should the coming trespass one day transpire, they would serve as a last resort foil, allowing Rykard to challenge Malekith the Black Blade, the Black Beast of Destined Death. Whoa. Okay. That's awesome. Definitely want that in my uh, repertoire, that's for sure. Oh my gosh. Nope. Alright, geniuses. Don't. Ah, okay. <laughs> Barely interrupted that. One, two, three, four, six. Okay. You're dead. Now I can heal up. That was scary. I didn't realize there was going to be a whole pit of these things. I guess Recusant Bernal missed these, huh? Completely forgot these guys. Nice. There no one else. Got another legendary item. What? We got the old Lord's Talisman. Very nice. We know that's a talisman. <laughs> so aptly named in the description. It extends the spell effect duration. A legendary talisman depicting the ancient king whose seat lies at the heart of the storm beyond time. Extends the duration of sorceries and incantations. It is said that the ancient royal city of Ferrum Azla has been slowly crumbling since time immemorial. I wonder why that is. I wonder why that is. Awesome. That is a very interesting. And I'm glad we obtained that. Let's go and uh, hopefully face off with this alleged boss that I've been talking about. I'm not sure if that's probably death, right? Yep. That's instant death. They don't want you jumping off there. They actually took off a piece of the uh, architecture there, so you wouldn't. Yeah, I have, like, no health. So hopefully we can tag that bonfire on the way back up. Uh, the bonfire, the side of grace. 
34096. Okay, so these are all the puppies. This was the pathway down. Now, obviously there was the opposite path, which led us this way, all the way up and around. I need to give all of these bell bearings. Look at this. That means smithing stone 7 and 8. Somber smithing stone 7 and 8. That's great. <clears throat> and then we get somber smithing stone 9. Oh man, that's great. 7, 8, and 9 for the grave glove warts. 7, 8, and 9 for the ghost glove warts. Yeah, we're going to have like everything we need. The only thing I need to do at this point is... Um, I'm assuming go back to um, my boy, Brother Corin, and give him some of these sources. I don't know who he's going to be. I'll probably just go to Muriel, to be honest. So this is the side of grace that we tagged earlier then. Okay. Let me just do that so I don't die. Bernal was really cool. I enjoyed fighting him. Alright, so now there's a Draconic Knight, of course. My favorite. Let's go take him out. Oh god. He hits really hard. Still hits really hard. Back away. I don't think he'll respawn, so I don't mind using a handful of uh, resources here. Dodge forward. Dodge forward. Flask up again. Dodge that. Oh, I dodged the wrong way. I zigged when I should have zagged. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Dead. We'll take him out this next time. We'll just be more patient. We'll take him out and see what he was guarding. Hopefully he drops something cool. We already have the that weapon and his shield, actually, which is really neat. Chicken Wagger says, E-O, E-O, E-I-E-I-O. What's up, man? I am in Crumbling Ferrum Ajla. I've faced off with uh, Recusant Bernal and a handful of, let me see, Alexander the Warrior Shard. Just killing all our friends. Now we're going to face up with this Draconic Tree Sentinel. And I missed. Very nice. Oh, that slam hurts me. Okay. AoE. An AoE slam, I see. And dodge. Dodge, because we got the AoE. Lovely. That's gonna hurt, yeah. Dodge back. Flask up. What bosses have you killed in this area? The Godskin duo, and uh, I think that's about it. The Godskin duo is all I remember. Other than the NPCs I just fought. Warrior, Shard, Alexander, and whatever else. Lots of face off with whatever boss he's guarding. Oh, ball. Dodge. That was close. Dodge. Oh, or not. Get hit in the face. Fireball to the face. Dodge. Oh, we gotta back away, actually. Back away. 
Nice, that's a new one. I don't remember that one at all. Your AoEs are rough. I have to do this at level one too, which is gonna be rough. Nice. You can die now, sir. Thank you. Let's go ahead and grab these runes over. Ooh, we get the malformed dragon armor. Very nice. That's gonna be lovely. Let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so I made it in time. Yeah, you sure did. I haven't done anything too special yet. I've been excited about it, but you know what I'm saying. A malformed golden helm ador adorned with various dragon imagery and worn by the misshapen tree sentinels. After the great ancient dragon grand sex attacked, the sentinels had an epiphany. The only way to truly protect the Ur tree was to become dragons themselves. Hmm. Interesting theory. Malformed armor, blah, blah, blah. Yep, same thing. Same thing. Very nice. Alright, so I hope that guy doesn't come back. I don't have tons of heal, so whatever this boss is, we're going to die anyways. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. But we'll go ahead and face off with this boss and then see what's next. Uh, okay. Oh, this is the... Oh, okay, hold on, there you go. I've actually fought this guy before. He's very tough. You're a vendor, what are you doing? I don't know if this is Garang, but... Dodge. Could be someone that just looks like him. Damn, he hits hard. Can I not... What, what do I do with this guy? He was hard to fight before. His attacks are crazy. I doubt I can parry them, so I'm gonna have to figure that one out. We got the Beast Clergy. Guy's a jerk. I don't imagine blocking is going to be very effective there either. I fought him before, or at least I fought Garank before whenever he, uh, he aggroed for some reason. I'm not sure why. It might have been because I gave him too much death root, or it could have possibly been because, uh, the Black Blade Kindred could have stabbed him or something. I wonder if I can drop down there. We'll have to check that out and see. Alright, so the big boss is, of course, it makes sense. The Beast Clergyman. See if I can get some rocks, things, maybe get a crit on him. He's gonna move around like crazy, though. I bet he's got some crazy movement. Oh my balls. I did not realize that was there. I thought it just was slightly discolored. <laughs> no! There go my 60,000 runes. Not so bad, though. And I haven't beaten Millennia yet, either. I'm going to try her again after I defeat this, beat this area. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? That was silly. I re really wish we could get Torrent. I mean, super annoying we can't use him to just move these short distances. All right, so here we go. Very nice. Scoot up a bit so I don't die. You can get stunned. No, I have to be close enough to punish you, though. Nice boulder. Bro, watch out. There you go. Dodge. Yep. I figured you'd do. Oh, I need a little. Yep. The whole like, reaching to the ground thing. What are you, Godric? Those attacks are annoying. Dodge. Pull it out. Okay, maybe not. 
damn. Hold on, sir. That was rough. Yep. Don't want to get caught by that again. I'm going to flask up instead. Back away. Back in. Dodge forward. There you go. Oh, nice. Well, whoa, Malekith the Black Blade, dodge. Oh, lovely. Little AoE, dead. Damn, okay. Whew, Malekith the Black Blade. You know what? I have something specifically to counter the Black Blade, is what it said. And uh, I can go ahead and equip that before this next attempt anyways. I don't need that, but what I can do is this. Deflects the power of the Black Blade. Do I have to like time that perfectly? Okay. <clears throat> Just perfect parry that all day? Okay, alright. That's gonna be tough to do. Triangle, right. Okay. That's fine. Damn. I'm gonna do that then. I should be able to get these parries off. I wonder if I have phase one to deal with again. If so, I'll scoot up a little bit closer this time. Let's do this. That's awesome. I I I, uh, I thought for a second that was Garank, but it must not be because he's he's called Malaketh the Black Blade. Completely different. All right, one, two, stab. Gonna hit you with all three. Otherwise, it doesn't really count. That hurt. Okay, that was good. That hurt him pretty good. Oof, that hurt me pretty bad. Oh, God. Dodge. Nope, not gonna dodge that. Back away. Back away. Flask. Dodge. And back away. Ooh, I did not know it had a freaking trail on it like that, though. I don't know what he's doing. What comes up must come down. I was like, where are the rocks going? And they finally fell down on my head. There you go. Nice. Whew. Alright, let's go ahead and flask up. Try and get these parries. Wrong side. I panicked. I panicked. I, I was pressing triangle on the right. Okay, I panicked. I'm gonna have to change that to a different slot. <clears throat> to like a square slot. Because that throws me off really bad. To press two buttons like that. It's not gonna work for me. There 
There you go. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, that was terrible. I, t I totally panicked. I was pressing triangle and left instead of triangle and right. And then I was like, yeah, this triangle thing is pretty hard to do. <laughs> Rather it just be in a health slot or an item slot. And he won't be so bad. I'll get a few parries on him and he mo he attacks really slow. I just don't know any of his attacks just yet. He had a three hit combo. He can jump off, sling a projectile. He's got a, he's got a handful of things. Maybe we can hit him at least two times before he can close. Nice. I didn't mean to do that. Nice. Completely missed my opportunity to do some crit damage there. Nice. Why am I not hitting him? Back away. Flask up. Dodge in if I can. Back away, sir. There you go. Good gosh. If it went for the bleed. <clears throat> We're going to skip this. We're going to flask up. Change over to this. That was close. Damn, I, there's so many visual effects going on there. <laughs> that is very tough to do. Oh, goodness. All right, let's get him down again and then just keep practicing that. There's a lot going on on the screen, and it is really hard to see what the hell is going on. I didn't even see, like, the character placement, like, my character placement. I didn't realize, like, I seemed like I was off to the side a little bit. I might not even have been locked on, to be honest. I was, that was a lot to manage. Boom, oh, right there, okay. Gotta get that. Do, 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 do. And the, fa the phase one is annoying. And the phase two is just not fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't like phase one. Phase one is super annoying because he's a very, very erratic. He moves every which way. I mean, he's got some crazy attacks. I mean, he's just, he can do tons of damage, like he moves around really quickly, as big as he is, he's just super fast. Dodge, yep, completely missed the timing on that. Dodge, blast. Quit using your projectile, I know I'm a mile away, but you're on a precarious ledge. <clears throat> okay, he's gonna do some more. Fair enough. <clears throat> dodge yeah phase one is totally random like there's like no science to it even that hurt me that was strange and he can cover so much ground like he looks really far away but he can actually hit you dodge okay oh that he so he puts his other hand down dodge that one's easy Dodge. Dodge. Okay, we're not. Great. <clears throat> Last. I don't really care about using all my heals in this first phase because the other phase is not going to be a phase I last long in anyway, so. It's more about winning. <clears throat> okay. Last. Dodge. Oh, too slow. He fight like Leonine Misty Gun. I don't even know which one of these attacks are carryable. Oh, so something hurt me. Hmm. So I'm assuming that Black Blade actually has lingering damage. That's what's hurting me too. 
Okay, I'm not going to do this parry stuff. That's just not going to work for me. <clears throat> if I do, I can try it from this, from this weird angle here. Whatever, I don't really care about that one little usage of FP either. I don't like that it takes up a slot, because then I have to switch to my heels every five seconds, and that's not easy to do. No worries, this is beat him the old-fashioned way. I'm not sure if that just removes, maybe what it does, instead of deflecting his actual blade, is that it just removes that fire, that flame on me. I think you can't parry the attacks. I think you can parry the red projectiles like in Manus. Oh, okay. I'll be damned. Thank you for sharing that, chicken. Appreciate that. Because I was like, yeah, I'm not even going to try those parries anymore. I, I kind of like, if anything, if I have the flame on me, I'll do that instead. Nice. Timed that really shittily. <clears throat> Very good. I shall not part with it again. Alright, I'm gonna part with your head in a second, asshole. I'm killing this fool. And then I'm killing Millennia. Not sure though. Yeah, I can't tell either. I honestly can't tell with the timing. You only get one or two chances per five minutes so <laughs> it's really not a good thing to test you know I saw some and this is what makes me mad like you know those speed runners and stuff they, they play on PC and they can like speed up so they'd speed all this up and they all this walking would just be sped up and and then they get to that point I'm like that's so cheap to me like no wonder why they can do some of the things they do they're kind of manipulating the actual performance of everything so it's like no wonder why they get to practice so much normal players wouldn't be able to do that or especially on a console I do not like that. Not really worth it. From every angle, okay. That makes sense. AoE all the way around. It's like that changes every time. <laughs> I swear. Too fast. Flask up again. Dodge. Dodge. Very good. Alright, let's actually fight this clown, shall we? Dodge. Maybe that. Maybe that can be dodged. And it actually hurts my health. So it dispels it for sure. Oh, you fight like a lazy, misbegotten bastard. I'm gonna die. And you can disappear? That's awesome. Very nice. Locking onto him is freaking worthless. Can't even see where he's at half the time. Man, okay. Chicken says, I really like how he can actually use this arena and his advantage, like hanging on the pillars. Yeah, because not many bosses can do I like it, but I mean, I can't see him half the time, and he just disappeared through a pillar. So that was weird. I didn't like that. I don't mind him jumping around and being like a physical being, but whenever he like phases through shit, that's not very fair. Do, 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 do. I can't get any hits on him either. 
Like none. He's gonna be tough. <clears throat> when he hits me, he completely destroys my vitality. I guess I could try and use some of those, uh... Well, I don't have anything else that guards against Black Flame, actually. Get hit here. Hit the critical. Yeah, it definitely does not apply. The word fit. It does not apply at all. I just like when it makes sense. Like, it's like, oh, okay, I see. That's why... I, I, here, he's all physical. He's not phasing through nothing here. And then he's like, phased through a column. Like, what? I had no clue where he even went. And... Uh, nope. Time that way too early. Probably gonna die because of that. Need to flask up. This first phase is literally worse, though, than the other phase. I did not mean to blast there at all. There you go. There's a range. Back way. Oh, my gosh. That's a lot of damage there. Back away. Blast. Dodge. I'm trying to trigger the cutscene before, that's fine. There it is. Yeah, 100% agree. I had most trouble with phase 1, too. I kept using all my S's because of the freaking rocks. Yeah, me too. They're insane. Alright, here goes. Big boy. So big. That's gonna hurt. Dodge. Dodge. Oh, I timed that so bad. That was a nice combo. Nice combo. He's not so bad, though. We'll get him. He's no millennia. That's for sure. Good morning. Make it a great stream. I will. Thank you so much. Getting my ass handed to me by this dog bastard. But the second phase is actually pretty easy. The first phase is really annoying more than anything. That's why I use all my heals. But the second phase, he's very slow. His attack pattern changes very, dramatic, very dramatically. So... The second phase, I can actually at least time my dodges. The first one's much, much harder. Much easier to get punished. But I will take him out. Let me check something out here. Successive attacks probably not really going to happen too much. Phase one, it does happen though, but let's see what we got here. See if we got anything that could help. Just a smidge. Got the damage negation there. Mm Sorcery, oh, that's gonna work. <clears throat> I'm gonna use the warrior jar shard and uh, or shard of Alexander and a little bit of this. Okay, let's do this, sir. Beast clergyman, one, two, I don't know why that first rock missed you, and three. 
gonna hit you anyways, because I'm greedy. Gonna flask in your face, and then I'm gonna do this. There it is. Lovely. Flask up twice. Nice. That's really tough to time, I'm not gonna lie. That is very tough to time. Got that frost. Alright, very nice. Uh, let's see here. Yes, lovely. Where the hell are you, sir? I literally just did this. Oh. It did not get it. It didn't get rid of the black blade at all. I did it three times and it didn't do it. I thought I was doing something wrong, but no, it didn't get rid of the black blade. That little flame thing that was around me, that was so weird. Unless I was standing in, I don't know, there's just too many visuals going on there. It's really difficult to keep track of what's going on. Alright, well we know that the beast man doesn't like frost either. He also doesn't like bleed much. What else do we got? Poise, dodge rolling. All these are trash. Let me read the item description again. I have no clue what the hell this thing does. It'd be under tools. Deflects the power of the black blade. What does that mean? I'm assuming it's the, those things like you said, the actual beams. The projectiles. Not the blade itself and not the flame that like destroys my health. Alright, come on genius. That's two. Three. Right, face. Now you can back up. Good sir, that'd be nice. Thank you. We got the first phase a little bit more, a little down, a little bit better now at least. That's gonna be tough to dodge every time, no matter how you put it. Ah, oh, the AOE, okay. Yep, I tried healing, tried flasking, I was spamming square, but that did not work. I saw my life whenever after he did that slam down attack. The, um, I saw it just going away. I don't know what to do. I guess I could try that again. It just didn't seem to work last time. Maybe because I was standing in a pool of it. I don't know. I don't understand the mechanics yet. And because I die in like 30 seconds each time, it's hard for me to learn or you know really understand what's going on. There's just a lot going on at once. Oh, you know what I could do. Beside the Great Bridge. Okay. I haven't leveled up my weapons all the way yet. Might as well do that and get some extra damage. No reason not to. 
No reason not to. Let's go to Hugh. And where's Rodrika? She's still chilling there. Can you cut your hair? I see. No. says that now my chains are broken, I'm free. And if I stay here, I will be ruined with the round table. <laughs> will you survive for freedom now? I smith weapons to slay a god. And I have lived and will die doing so upon this spot. Is there any other way? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so... Oh, it says I don't have a rune to take. I have plenty. So I can bump this up to 10. I can bump this up as well. Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Oh, yeah. Let me see how many of those I have, though, real quick, so I can figure out if I need to go search for more. I had... Ten of them. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Very cool indeed. Now we have all those set. I want to see if he dies. I see. No, he's still clinking around. Oh, snap. Alright, cool. Let's go back and kill this stuff then. We got maxed out weapons, <clears throat> which is awesome. Uh, let's see. Where do, what was I? Crumbling Firm Asla. That's right. Beside the Great Bridge. There you go. Let's go do this. Let's do this thing. Phase one, we'll just spam some rock sling and then our weapon ability. It seems to take them out relatively quickly. All right, one, two. You can get all up in his face with it. Knock him off. 
That'd be too easy. Up. Oh, goody. Yeah, I'm doing it. Doesn't seem to be getting rid of anything. It doesn't do anything. Okay, it just deflects the. It doesn't actually deflect the act with the flame itself. That's good to know. We just tested it right there. That's a hundred percent confirmation to me. It does not work there. So that means it doesn't work against his blade. Doesn't work against the flame. That's just the projectiles, which, good luck trying to dodge those or deflect those. I probably will not try that unless I'm, like, really desperate. Alright, good to know, good to know. Through the fog mist we go. Fog gate. One, two, dodge. Dead. I get hit. Blast. R1 for the crit. Some L2s in here. One, two, dodge. Dodge. up now. Dodge. He's trying to dodge that too. There you go. Hopefully that cancels that animation of the other attack. Dodge. Very nice. Dodge. Okay, note to self, stay out of, away from his front, that's for sure. Stay away from his back. Stay away from everything. <clears throat> that was terrible, I couldn't even hit him once when he was 50%. Phase two began and I couldn't even touch him. So when he does that slam down attack, definitely stay away from the front, that's fine. He can spin around whenever he, you're behind him, so man, it's just this guy's got it all covered. There you go. Good. Damn it, 
man. It's like whenever I get hit with that shit, it's like I can't even dodge. I'm like spamming circle. That was a good phase one, though. That was a good phase. Let's try that again. I don't know what the black flame status effect is or whatever. You could never tell in the game anyways, but it definitely uh, does damage over time. I'm not sure if it does anything to your stamina regen or anything. I know it also impacts your HP. It like totally diminishes it. Reduces the total bar. That's weird. Good job. Did parry him. Now he's all blind. Okay, very nice. Back away, back away. Flask up. That shit burns bad, too. Forward, flask up. He's gonna disappear, yep, okay. up anyway. Nice. We almost had him. <clears throat> Definitely almost had him. I just ran out of flasks. And I did actually deflect it somehow and he covered his eyes because he was blind and he was swinging really lazy so that was interesting. Next time. Did you see that chicken? Like, I deflected. I'm not sure if I deflected a strike or a, you know, I feel like I did. And he covered his eyes like he was blinded and he was swinging around real lazy. And I was like, what the heck? I tried deflecting one of those projectiles. I couldn't get the timing down right on that, though. But that was interesting. Nice. Yeah, I got a really, I got the deflection. It, it does work. It just, you have to time it. I don't know how the hell the, the timing doesn't make sense to me yet, but. All right, let's get him. Hopefully one more time. Dodge forward. Get this crit right here. Spam our weapon ability. Is phase one's getting easier and easier. All right, here goes phase two. Here it goes. All right, let's do this. Oh, 
Nope, that's not the spot I want to be at. Oh, he blows it up. Okay, my bad, my bad. That was stupid. Use those columns to protect me. It's alright. I'm going to flask up in just a second. Stay behind the columns. Okay, he's got a few more hits of that combo than I thought. Dodge. Dodge. It's gonna blow up. Gotta flask up at some point. Dodge. Yeah, it was the fire that got me that time. He didn't even hit me. It was the fire. That's alright. Alright, so we got phase one down. I mean, we still get hit a little bit more than I'd like in phase one, but it's getting smoother. The more flasks I can save, the better off we'll be for sure. Then I can use the columns. I didn't realize how important those were. I thought he could, I thought he was busting through them, but no, he clings to them, so also that means they won't be destroyed, which means projectiles can be blocked by them. us strafing behind them. That looks good. He's coming in hot today. <clears throat> Any second now, bud. Not going to be able to take advantage of this. I'm just going to have to do this instead. Trying to stay down so that the rocks wouldn't get me, but that didn't work. I tried to stay down and uh, hopefully use that recovery animation to get the iframes and the rocks came down, but that did not work. He did that way early this time, too. He usually doesn't do that until he's taken like 40% damage. Alright, we still have this guy, and then once we defeat him, we'll see what happens next. And of course we have to face off with Millennia. Alright, here we go. Critical all the way over there. Flask up, flask up. Very nice. Dodge, dodge. Man, you can't see anything when he does that. Nice, that was dumb. I need to jump right into that. Couldn't even flask up. That AoE is a little too big. That's okay. <clears throat> he seems to be weak to frost though, which is really good, considering I have a a cold Rogier's rapier. We'll beat him in the next few tries for sure, and then we can move on to Millennia. We have plenty of time to give her a few attempts as well. Considering I already have this Rapier as Frost, I could try that in lieu of 
the hook claws, but I love the hook claws. <laughs> That's just my my go-to. Sprinted in this time. That's gonna hurt. Dodge. Back away. Dead. <laughs> He's stunned. So that's crazy. That's probably what Garank looks like underneath. He phased one to us this time. That's okay. I'm curious if we explored the extent of this. I know we found a lot of things, but I'm just hoping we didn't miss anything. There was a few, I ended up pretty much redoing this entire area again. Um, just so that I could go through it and not miss anything. I think we've got everything this time though. There you go. I can stab him a few times. You are not done with this area after Malakath. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Let me get hit in the face. That's awesome, though. Not done with this area after Malakath. That'd have been too good to be true. Back away, back away. Blast. Dodge. Oh, I walked the wrong way. That's great. Flask. Dodge into that. There you go. Flask. I have to. Back away. Back away. Dodge. 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 Flask. Gotta get this frost. The prop. Flask. That was way too close for comfort. Dodge. Dodge. I'm gonna flash. Oh my gosh. He's all up in your shit, so it's so hard to dodge him. <clears throat> it's just the AoEs, really. You are not done with this area after Malakath. Well, I'll be damned. That's fine. I don't mind. I'm, I'm assuming, um, if I had to guess... This, I got an item. It was a dragon charm of sorts. Uh, let's see here. It was a legendary talisman as well. Which I wonder if those are all, yep, they're all partitioned off in one kind of area. Uh, not really though, actually, because I just realized. What the hell did I just do? Uh, right here. It says there's an ancient, no, uh, an ancient king whose seat lies at the heart of the storm beyond time. So I imagine that that's probably one I'm facing off with. Like if there's like, I bet there'd be like a dragon king or something. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I don't know if that's actually the case. But there's definitely something at the heart of the storm. So maybe I can destroy this. I don't know. I don't know if that's all going to take place. But I was thinking that that could be a possibility. Now that you said that I'm not done after Malekith, I thought this was it. Because I don't know where else to have gone. So... I imagine there's like a dragon king, the one that, you know, this whole area is all about. I have to go forward, this is going to be cheap today. Flask up, you will see, <laughs> oh nice, very mysterious. I missed that attack, he moves so well, it's so annoying. Dodge, oh, not going to dodge, I'm going to fall off the map. I tried to get that to proc before, but that's okay. This, and then 
this. Yeah, that's fine. Poke him in the face. Good gosh. Yep, that's gonna kill me. I knew that was gonna kill me because I was trying to do my stupid attack. Well, I can't just tell you what it is. No, 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 no. I appreciate that too. Because you know me, I don't like spoilers. It bothers me. Like for movies, I don't care. I don't care about spoilers, right? Like if you're like, oh, Batman dies. I don't, I'm just kidding. I've never even seen the movie. I don't even know if he dies, but I'm just saying. You could say, oh, Superman dies in this movie. I'm like, oh, that sucks, but let's go watch it. That's cool. But with the game, like, you have to experience it for yourself to me. And it just takes it away, especially a game that I am so passionate about. Like, I love the Soul series. I've been a fan since they came out, and it was actually a big reason of why I was able to come back and return to gaming, because I was in a real dark place in my life, and Dark Souls and Demon Souls in, in particular helped me out of that rut. So um, I really love these games. More than the average Joe. Posture check, indeed. I was literally hunched over right now. Like a crazy person. Nice. And hydrate. Very nice. Thank you. I'm going to drink some of my tea. Good stuff. We'll get him. That phase one is kind of hit or miss. I either nail it perfectly maybe get hit just a little bit or I get destroyed which that's fine I don't mind that the second phase I'm getting better at dodging the only thing that I realize is a huge issue now is when he slams down with his sword the AOE on that uh, can cause that black flame damage as well I might try and I, I doubt you can parry a jumping attack though most of the time you cannot like if they're jumping down on you that's not a parryable attack so I will not try to parry that but if I can get a parry in, that'd be nice. I can get that frost to proc and then kill him. Dodge forward. Forward. You're acting real goofy today. Making it hard for me. R1. I'm gonna have to spam these weapon skills now. Recovery. Very nice. Whoa! Okay, that was close. I was reading your comment. I don't think you can parry him by what? Oh, I could have hurt him there, damn it. Could have hurt him real bad. Not paying attention. Two, three, dead. Uh, not the. I don't think I can parry him with like a normal sword, but I, I can think I can parry him with that special beast. Beast block I have, or whatever it's called. The Beast Fang, or Beast Crumblies, or whatever. Because uh, I did it. Whenever you were gone, apparently. I, I didn't know you were gone, but I had, um... I hit him with that. I parried it, and he covered his eyes like he was, like, temporarily blinded. He started swinging, like, like blindly swinging, but very slow. And I was like, oh my gosh. You know, the funny thing is, I could have got a critical on him there, and, and I probably would have been able to finish him, but I don't know how I was able to proc that critical. That was really interesting. I'm gonna try that again, cause I can get him. He's not. He's not. He's very doable. I can definitely get him now. But whenever he starts sprinting, see, this is gonna be an easier one. When he starts sprinting towards us from the beginning, it makes it much more difficult. Here we go. Go ahead and get one attack right here. He's gonna get stunned. I'll get the crit, and then I just gotta spam my weapon skill for a bit actually circle in this way so I can trap him if possible. Nope, he's smart. He's smarter than the average bear. Dodge. Dodge. Very nice. Okay, now I need to do this. Dodge. This.
back away. Dodge, 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 back away. Blast. Back away. Hit him. Kind of tanked that like a dummy. Trade did that hit there. Back away. Blast. Dodge. Oh, it's too early. Way too early. I'm gonna die because of the freaking flames, and then he slashed me across the face. I don't know what's going on, but I swear I'm trying to flask. And I don't know if I'm maybe canceling it because I'm doing something different, but I was trying to heal there, and then bef then I had to dodge a bunch of attacks. So that threw me off. But before that flurry of those projectiles, I did try and, and flask. I don't know why I didn't do that. I must have done something different to cancel it out. So annoying. Because that was a very controlled fight. I felt good about it. Had plenty of flasks. I think I had about six flasks left. I'll try that parry again so you can see it. Got nothing to lose. But time. Which I'm fine with. Okay, he's not sprinting, so that's good. Now he's sprinting. One, two. I'm just gonna do it. Okay. There we go. Get the crit. Flask up now. Of course he dodged that. He's so quick. I don't know I'm far there, too far there, but still. I was getting I was hoping he would actually move into me this time, but he didn't. Well, took a lot of damage here. Sometimes this is a bad run. Like this one. I think he'll get stunned here though, in this next phase. Dead. Okay. I wish that your health didn't just your health bar didn't get so low and there's nothing really to combat that. All right, so up we go. We gotta beat this guy quick. I'm tired of fighting him one, and then two, I need to go fight Millennia. The only thing that's cheap is the black flame damage. Other than that, it's very doable. Three, he's not even sprinting over here, so he's gonna get critical over there by himself. This AI is so weird. It's so good, but it just change. It's so different every time. It's like, what are you doing? Now I have to do this a few times. There you go. Just stayed down there for a little bit. Poked him in the face. Now we need to blast up with something good here. Dodge. Oh, I got hit in the face anyway. This critical. Gosh, that's too early. No, 
dodge back. Hit him. Miss, miss. Dodge back. Got the flames on. We gotta be careful here. Yep. No, it's too early there. It's okay. Face out. Flask up. Dodge. Dodge. I'm trying to get the iframes. I totally missed though. If I can proc this frost, it'd be nice. Dodge. Flask up. Flask up. We just gotta be patient here. It's dumb to cast that right there. It's okay though. Dead. Uh, I think the lingering damage you get if he hits you stacks. Yep, I do too, because I, uh, your health bar gets much, much lower too the more he hits you. I should not have cast that gravity spell at that last part. That's what actually cost me the match. That's okay, though. I was just trying to get additional tick damage, and I was actually looking to hopefully get another critical, but it did not work. He can cover a lot of ground pretty quickly. Yeah, after you get hit two or three times, it's like matching my stamina bar. He's coming in quick here. I'm going to just dodge in. I don't want to get hit unnecessarily that much. Not this time. Dodge. I'm going to cast one more time. Critical. We're gonna go ahead and spam this weapon art here. Weapon skill, I guess, is what it's called in this game. Very nice. Blast up, dodge, 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 dodge. Back way. Blast up. It's okay if I trade there. Dodge. Blast up. Dodge. die with the tick damage here. I felt like I didn't even scratch him and I, I swear I hit him more than once. <clears throat> but his health bar shows a totally different story. Wow. Okay. We gotta beat this guy quick because I'm tired of fighting him. And we gotta see what's next. Apparently there's more. Up we go. I'm going to try and use that parry again. Chicken says, I don't care what the game calls it. They will always be Estus Bonfire Weapon Arts, etc. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I agree with that. I keep calling them souls instead of runes. And then weapon arts. I, call them, I definitely call them weapon arts. Alright, we'll be able to get them quick this time. 
Fine. Get the crit. Stupid rocks. I'm gonna hit him in the face there. I'm gonna die instead. Could have been an excellent run, but instead I just decided to die and get hit in the face. I could have criticaled him twice. That was weird. The critical, I don't remember. I, I always thought it did a pretty decent amount of damage, but then I realized, at least on the first phase, it does. I did not see how much damage it did on the second phase, though, because I'm thinking he doesn't spawn with 50%. He always spawns with exactly 50%. It's set capped there, pretty much. So, I don't remember how much it did, but when I first did the critical, I was like, ah, I didn't really do much. But, um, it might have done a lot more than I thought, because that time I almost beat him again. So I'll see if I can just, if I can spam these, and even proc frost, that'd be fantastic. Just hard to get that a second time. Alright, two, three. At the start, I had a habit, and I had to rest on the grace so I could warp. Yep, I did the same thing. I kept doing the exact same thing. Every time I played, I would sit at the, at the sites of grace every single time, thinking that I needed to do that so I could warp. But you can't actually even warp from there. And I was like, that's kind of weird. They shouldn't prevent you from warping from there. But I guess you do have to open up your map. So. Dodge. Dodge. Dodge the scrape. Stab in the butt. Miss. Jeez Louise. Every single hit is missing him now. I'm gonna get hit here. I need to flask up all kinds of ways here. I'm gonna hit the face. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. All right, let's try that again, shall we? Man, I'm getting frustrated. The inconsistency of how well I can get to that second phase is just driving me nuts. That first phase can just be a total disaster. And the funny thing is, if he's sprinting, like, I already know I'm going to take some sort of damage getting him to that second phase because I like to get the critical in so I can just hopefully then proc the frost and then we're good to go. It looks like I think he... It probably resets his, like, frost meter at the very least, but I wonder. The bosses in the endgame are just something else. No doubt, man. No doubt. And they're not... It's not terrible. It's just more so, like, I want to beat the game at this point. Dodge. Dodge. And, and then they just do stuff like that. Like, how is that little shift that he's doing... It just perfectly gets him out of range. It's like... It's like they knew. <laughs> People are going to spam their Rosier's Rapier here. Stab in the face. If I don't hit him here, I'm dead. And then if I try and heal here... I'm in trouble. Yep, get hit guaranteed every time. Just back away and flask up instead. Live to fight another day. I don't know where the hell he's at. Okay, he's on the other side of this pillar. Very nice. Flask up. Totally missed that attack somehow. Missed that one too. Very nice, back away. Dodge, 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 back away. Let me get behind the pillar just a bit so I can breathe. There you go. Too early, too early. I'm gonna flask up even if I get hit here, it's fine. Dodge, dodge this. 
damn projectiles are worse. And then die. Before I even get up. <clears throat> no worries. I don't know what to do to negate that black flame. I'm gonna have to try the parry, to be honest. But I don't know which attacks you can parry. <laughs> the jumping attacks, I'm definitely gonna try. I'm not even gonna try the projectiles. Matter of fact, my shield would better dodge the projectiles. Say, where's your head? <laughs> Let's try that again. I wonder how many attempts that I have actually done this. I, there is a way to count because I'm not going to keep count manning. That's just ridiculous. But if there is a way to track it, like somehow, I don't know how. Like when you get sp you have splits, whenever you're playing, you know, doing like a speed run. I have no clue how the game and how your program somehow tie to the the exact moment of death. It like keeps track of it. Really cool. But if there's a way to also keep track of deaths that way, like, oh, it knows you die. Because if it knows you beat a boss, it should know when you die, too. So I'd love to see, like, how many times I've died to these bosses. Because I know there's a way to do it manually. I just refuse to do that. That's just another thing I have to manage. There's got to be a way that I'd like to see that. Dead. Back away. Nice. I didn't think I got my first critical in, have I? Dodge. Get behind this pillar over here. There you go. Gosh, he keeps doing that back up, you know, like every time I used to be able to be safe underneath him and now he keeps backing away. Totally dead there. Chicken says the phase one is what made me hate him so hard, honestly. <laughs> Pookie says, I wish I could have had an attempt count for my fire giant fight. That was at least forty. He's really cool and all that, but damn. Cool design and cool face too, but yeah, I am, like, at this point, I'm pretty frustrated, actually, because I'm like, dang it, like, um, now I'm making mistakes on phase one, you know? So if phase one goes bad, I mean, phase two is probably going to follow suit, but I still don't like to give up because sometimes you can have a really good phase two, even though you might have had a bad phase one. So it's like, eh, I never really stop and be like, oh, I'm going to restart. Like, I really don't like that speedrunner mentality where they just, they just have to, I know, I understand how they have to reset and do stuff sometimes, but... I feel like they, they do find ways to just quit a lot and they have to just find that perfection. It's like sometimes it's not going to be perfect. It's going to be really, really bad and you're going to have to make do. Nice. Now I'm doing worse. Took me about four days worth of attempts to beat the fire giant. Even Moog was like only five tries and God's can do was only three, but fire giant was like ass. Yeah, he was tough. Most people dislike the phase two, but I had no problem with it since his phase two is my favorite type. Yeah, slow and strong and in your face kind of thing. I don't mind phase two other than the that black flame damage. That's incredibly annoying because it deals a lot of damage. And it's not it's so fast that you can't even heal sometimes because it'll kill you before you flask up. But what I uh what's getting me is that his phase one is now, which I had so consistently, now it's changing up quite a bit. I've only tried this guy once, then went back to do Millicent's quest line, going to the Halo Tree. Nice. Very nice. 
Yeah, I just I beat her quest line. Um, I finished it off yesterday. And I fought Millennia. I didn't beat Millennia just yet, but in due time. After I beat this guy. Or once I'm done with this area. Apparently I'm not done with this area yet. Back away, fool. Oh yeah, you know what I forgot? Oh, I forgot all about my stick drift. That's been an issue. There you go. I saw you could summon her to help her with the boss, I think it was. Oh, this boss? Whoops. Well, she's... Her quest line is done in mine, so I did not get help with this boss at all. Back away. Flask up at some point. Dodge. 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 I'm going to die before I can even flask. So they see all those attacks. I'm, I'm, inf I'm inflicted with the black flame. And I have to dodge. So I can't flask in between that. Because no one in the world can flask that fast. Even with like the dexterity that I have. That's rough. Uh, as a heavy melee build, I'm too comfortable with bosses like this. This guy just looks rough. Yeah, he's... He, it's not bad. I'm just playing bad. Now, I was doing really well earlier, and then now, because I'm a bit frustrated, like, I'm getting impatient. So I'm making mistakes that I normally wouldn't make. It's just more so because I'm ready to get through the game to see, you know, to be able to start my other runs and things like that. But more importantly, I wanted to get to Millennia today. And apparently there's something else after this guy. So I'm like, dang. So, uh, let me see. I'm not getting successive strikes, so there's really no point to do that. Oh, let's see here. All right, here goes. Pookie says, I'm astrologer and every boss just one shots me. He's gotten way better at dodging. <laughs> good. That's what it takes. You don't have good armor, good shield, and that's one of those things, anyways. Um, you really, in this game, in Dark Souls 3 and in this one, you shield and, like, unless you're parrying, is not really the way to go. You want to just be dodging stuff. All the bosses can just deplete your stamina, anyways. Dodge, there you go. Good. Yep, get him. At least with your fast weapon you can get hits in, but with a great sword, that was a pain. <laughs> yeah, Malekith moves around a lot though, man. I mean, Grank probably moves even worse, but... There you go. And use this opportunity to heal. Back, oh, I might try to back away, but... I said back away, I did the opposite. Dodge. I gotta flask up, otherwise I'll die. Flask. Back away here. Flask up if I can use my stamina. Oh, lovely. Love when that happens. Hit me through the freaking column. <laughs> Dodge. Dodge. I'm gonna hopefully art L2 him to death here. Yep. And then back away. I tried to time that right. It's really tough to time. Back away. A little roar? I haven't seen that. How many times have we fought this guy? I haven't seen that roar yet. Back away. Flask. Dodge. Get an L2 over here. Dodge. Dodge. Oh, I jumped into it like a fool. Dodge. I'm gonna flask up. Back away here. See if I can punish. Can't really see what's going on there. It's okay. Dodge. 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 Gotta get in close. Dodge. Back away. L2. 
Yep, that's bad. Got a flask up. Let me get behind this column instead. I'm not messing around with the dodges here. I'm going to flask up one more time. See if I can get a good line of sight on him here. Dodge. L2. Back away. Or not. Just get hit twice instead. That was my other plan. Dodge. We're going to back away here. That's alright. Back away. Back away. Back away. Nice. Oh, goodness. Yeah, he moves so fast. He can change his direction so fast, dude. The Ever Jail fight with Electo was so rough. He was not. It's a she, just so you know. She was nonstop. Move, 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 attack, attack. I like that fight, though. That was a really fun attack. I couldn't imagine trying to hit him with a heavy weapon. Electo was pretty easy because I could stop his attack since she's so small. Yeah, he doesn't have a t she doesn't have a ton of poise. Um. And you could stop the attacks with a greater weapon or successive strike. So if you hit fast enough, and, and you can actually interrupt those attacks. But I uh, didn't have any poise or anything, and I didn't want to trade. So I was like just waiting for the openings and attacking with my hook claws. And it was like a seven-minute long fight. It's a long fight. Probably more, maybe even ten minutes. Yeah, Lecto is the mother of Tish, and she was the ringleader of the uh, Black Knight Assassin. Yeah, same. I think it took probably about 10 minutes. Now that I think about it. Flask up. Get stabbed a few times. Why not? Nice. Lovely. We got the frost to proc, but we have like no heals, so let's see. Dodge. Every time I try and get greedy, and that's what happened. Try and get those free hits in, but that doesn't work. Didn't time that right either, and died instantly. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, was, it definitely took ten minutes because I remember actually editing it out so I could create a video out, and I was like, yeah, that took a lot longer. Chicken says I was a bit. Oh, I was a bit over. I was a bit relieved too, but with my great. Oh, over leveled, but with my great, so it wasn't hard at all. I forgot they were all females for the Black Knives. I did not. I did know that. Honestly, I think your fight took like 15 minutes and a fair bit of tries. Yeah, it took me a hell of a lot of tries. Remember, because I was trying to figure out how to do the parries and stuff. I think on a future, on the future, I'd use a buckler and parry her to death because I got a little bit better at the parries. But why do I have? Why is my health not full? <laughs> like what? What did I just do there? Pookie said, I just couldn't hit her with any of those spells except the auto lock one. She was so fast. Yep, she was quick. Very quick indeed. I liked it. it was fun. I actually enjoyed that fight quite a bit. Why was that? Why didn't I not have full health? Dodge. Okay. Bro, just get stunned. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now I can go ahead and use the uh, skill right here. Jump off the map, probably. Oh gosh, no. I was lucky enough to not die because of gravity. Did your health change when you changed talismans? Maybe. I didn't change any other talismans, though. I just died, and I just respawned. I didn't change anything. I was looking. I was reading your message. 
flask up. Take some heavy damage there. Lovely. Back away. Punish. Back away. If I can. He comes in at such strange angles, it's really hard to dodge, actually. I'm gonna get behind this column. See if I can get some heals. Got the police. Huh! Just kidding. It's just a fire truck. Dodge. Okay. Yes. That attack I always want to punish, but it's actually a very quick recovery, so I need to stop doing that. Dodge and then back away. I can punish this one though. Dodge and then back away. Trying to get those iframes. I will punish this one. Back away. Dodge. Dodge. That's okay. Figured that was going to happen. Dodge. Dodge. And the two stripes here. Yep, I was trying to dodge forward into it, but I didn't time it right and got slashed right in the face. Pookie says, yeah, my first attempt on this boss, I rolled off the edge right at the start. Yep, I did the same thing, too. You changed talismans a few attempts ago, but never rested after changing. Oh, is that what that does? Oh, okay, so you kept resetting at the previous HP level, not the increased one. That's weird. What did I do, though? Did I... Which one did I even equip? This just was my dexterity, though, so I don't know how that would affect it. I don't know what's going on there. That shouldn't impact my health at all. Uh, let's see. Boost non-physical damage negation. I wonder if Black Flame is part of that. Improves dodge rolling. Yeah, no thanks. I can get my dodges right, hopefully. HP. Da, 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 da. See, this would make sense. But look, that's how much it does. It's only like 100 health. That doesn't make any sense. That's weird. Okay, no worries. That does not really help at all. That's not even a tick of damage. Not even half a hit. Boost non-physical damage negation. That's interesting. Poise wouldn't be bad. Enhances charge spells and skills. I don't know what it means by enhances, but I'm certainly going to try to charge my L2 strike then and see if that works. Also have to remember to try and parry on that second phase with that new item we got. It's just hard to do a triangle and a right at the same time when I'm trying to do other stuff. That's fine. Gotta adjust. It's fun how many bosses this game has, but you can only need to defeat 13 bosses to complete the game. Yeah, there's like, I think I probably fought like over 100 easy. I, I have literally searched every single dungeon that I could find and things like that. A lot of, there's a lot of reskins and stuff and a lot of duos. Let's go ahead and pop this guy. Hit him in the head with some rock slings. He's going to get stunned all the way over there. You're a mile away, bro. Hopefully you're not talking about distortion. He's uh, kind of annoying. He's just such a brat. Like, only, like I used to like him for Dark Souls 2 speedruns. But man, it's like... As these people get bigger and bigger, they're just real brats. He was like getting mad at the chat because they were just telling him, I was like, like how to, not, not what to play, just trying to give advice. And I, I was, I get it, like it's annoying when people do that, but. Oh, nah, Lil Aggie. Oh, yeah, he does a lot of runs. He does a lot of Sekiro runs, too. I haven't watched, I don't actually watch any big streamers. Um, I just support, like, a few guys and stuff stream, stuff like that, like smaller streamers, but. The big ones, they're doing fine. <laughs> I do like Lobos, though. I have never watched his stream. I've never watched him live before. I just, I, I found him on YouTube a long time ago. Lobos is pretty good. He's not terrible to his chat. Distortion, too, is, is, he's very good, but he's just really rude. I don't like, I hate a bad personality. It's like, you can have all the skill in the world, but if you're an asshole, <laughs> 
Like, that's not the way to do it. The community is what helps you grow, you know? They're the ones keeping you, you know, your bills paid. It's like, respect that, man. Like, I don't know. It's not that hard. Or just say, hey, guys, I'm doing this. And I know you might try and do it a different way, but I'm doing it this way. And then just shut up. Or just ignore him. But he was getting angry because he kept dying. And, uh, of course, I can tell he's... You know, just frustrated, so he's lashing out. Like, it is not okay to be pissed at your chat unless they're saying dumb stuff, like something hurtful or something rude. Nice. Dodge. You're getting real cheeky in this first phase, bro. Okay. We're gonna wait and dodge and then heal. And then get hit in the face. Dodge. Gonna back away. I'm gonna try and punish this one right here. Very nice. Dodge. Ooh, I timed that way too early. Flask up. Get hit in the face. Oh, I'm dead. So when he spins around, that's when he does that attack. That will slam down and uh, has the AoE. Okay, I have not really... Other than his normal strikes and slashes and the stomp where he has the AoE, I have not really figured out the one where he does that and, and I just wasn't paying attention, I guess, to it. But now I must. Got no choice. Got to pay attention to that one. So when he spins around in a circle, and my thing is, that would be very hard to parry because I don't know when the when that is going to touch my hitbox, you know? So doing something like... Oops. Something like that would be pretty tough to do. It's a fast parry, but... And I don't want it in my weapon slot here, or my consumable slot, because I tried that, and it was really tough to be able to manage that while I was trying to heal. So we'll have to go with the old-fashioned way. Try and go on right. Dodge. Okay, we're not. Very nice. Flask up. See if I can get the critical before he recovers. Yeah, Lil Aggie is super chill. He's always, like, really chill. I've seen some of his YouTube videos um, and on Sekido. Like, I didn't actually watch the full thing, but I just saw him. It was something about, like, hey, can I, like, get my refund back on the game before two hours if I beat it in time or something? So he was trying to do that. Now that's pretty interesting. But, yeah, he's pretty chill. Nice. I'm dead. Jumped right into that one. Chicken says, I think it's about 150 plus confirmed. Yeah, I think that's like 167 or something like that. But some of them, that's that's counting like the reskins. There's probably like 125. Because, I mean, you fight enemies that then become bosses. Like, I would count them as bosses as, as, as the first encounter. Like, oh, I fought a golem that has a, a life bar. Like, if you have a life bar and you have a name tag, you're a boss. Now, if you go like ulcerated tree spirit, putrid tree spirit whatever other tree spirit like okay you're kind of just reskinning them or just reusing them so those are unique encounters and i would count them towards the total boss fight but i don't think it's like a unique boss so i wonder how many of those are i bet like truly truly it's probably over 100 unique bosses and then if you count every single encounter which is all the earth tree everything with a life bar you probably have like 100 like you said 150 plus no doubt Dodge. I need a flask up. Back away. I did not get to cast any of my rock sling, man. Came way too early. And now you have like all kinds of resistance to my rock sling somehow. That should do the trick. I need to use my flask of cerulean tears. Nice. Yeah, I'm not having a proper boss fight with this first phase. That's ridiculous. Should be down by now. Long time ago, actually. One, 
forgot what that attack was, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie. Very nice. Even if it's a bad run, it doesn't matter. Never, never give up. There you go. Tried to punish that, it's okay. Yeah, let's try this parry thing, shall we? Probably can't parry that. <laughs> I tried it though. I'm gonna flask up aggressively here. Yep. I need a good line of sight, which I don't have. I tried it. It's just really hard to do triangle and press right at the same time if you're trying to parry. I am going to move it back to a consumable slot. If I, Especially if I'm going to actually consider that as a viable strategy. Uh, I do need that. Okay, that. Oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't charged my L2s. My weapon skills. What have I been doing? Otherwise, I'm wasting that uh, slot. There's that. Right, let's think through this again. Do, 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 do. Stamina reducing attacks, final hit chain attacks, guard counters, critical hits. Alright, here goes. Leave one other flask. Yeah, that'd be okay. I, I'm only using the one. Well, I need at least. I got the one plus what I'm using for my weapon arts. So I'll leave it like that. Because I need one, if I mess up phase one, then I need at least an extra one. Because one bar should be sufficient to get me to phase two. And then I need to reflask anyway so I can use my weapon art for uh, the phase two section. But I forgot, I need to actually uh, use those bad boys. And now that I have enhanced critical, maybe I can get to that phase two a little bit faster. Yep, don't have time to cast, but I am using my weapon art, so I need I only need it for that purpose. So phase one, I'm always going to do that rock sling, so I can get the critical. But then for phase two, I will not do rock sling at all. I'm just using my weapon art there with the rapier. Alright, now he's playing dumb. I don't know why he's doing all this, but it's fine. we got enhanced critical, so there's a pretty nice chunk of damage there. We're going to do our weapon skill here. I'm gonna do 50 anyway, that's fine. No worries. Yeah, weapon arts don't take hardly any, which is awesome. I love that. Ah, I don't have line of sight. Okay, I didn't know where he was at. Nope, why did I do that? Okay, that's the wrong attack to do that on. Not uh, today, I'm gonna flask up. That's okay. I did the same thing I said I wasn't gonna do. Back away, we're gonna jump away again, we're gonna flask up. Dodge, or did I just get hit again? It's fine. Can't keep getting lucky, that's for sure. Flask up. There you go. Now I can breathe for just a second. That's the attack I normally want to punish, but I haven't been successful in doing that, so probably I can try that. Not a little early there, it's okay. A little early for my taste. Oh, that was close. That didn't work. Back away. Two. Yeah, I figured I was gonna die there. I, it's really hard to, I don't mind dodging those projectiles. I can do that. I lost sight of it though, thinking that he was gonna jump in. And I was really focusing on what his animation was because that's the attack that kills me. It's the three projectiles, which normally one or two, one or one or will hit me max. And then here I got killed by it though. But 
then he comes in and does that swiping attack where he spins and does two slashes. So that makes it really hard. Because two slashes, I mean, even if you dodge one, if you dodge on the wrong direction or dodge at the wrong angle, you're going to get hit by the follow-through, so. Yeah, in DS3, the weapon arts or weapon skills take up so much. Here, you can spam them all day and you're fine. So my gravity sling here is going to be used for a rock sling. Phase one, all day. Dodge back this time. Yep, and then forward. There we go. Flask up. R1. It does a lot more damage, yeah. Pretty good. That's alright. Should have expected that. go now I just need to use my weapon stuff here in a second but I'm fine I'm fine without it for now every time he does he changes that every time around the corner he must have been trained by the same league of assassins from wanted Morgan Freeman taught him how to shoot that was bad the whole time I was just trying to flask up I didn't even get it I didn't even get to be offensive at all I was not at all in the offensive there I was just purely trying to flask up I'm not gonna do that again not that aggressively I'll like not gonna try and flask that hard I mean Especially if I have enough for a few weapon arts, it's fine. I can just find a better window. But yeah, the columns are actually okay. They're actually not the best form of defense. They're better for the projectiles, but not when he's doing his melee strikes. Because that one where he slams down the sword and the AoE kind of just blows up everywhere. That is pretty much going to go through that column. Even though it's incredibly massive. Nice. Can't hit you from here, you dummy. Dodge, flask. Dodge. Need him to come up closer. Flask. I mean, oops. Wrong word. Phase one so far. He's gonna do a swipe attack. There you go. Let's try this again. I don't I just gotta be away. I'm gonna die. Cause I can't menu. I was tried I tried parrying multiple times. That big strike where he hits with one hand or he's like pretty much slams down with just a one handed overhand strike. I could not uh, parry that. And it's probably just my timing, but I know that I got a parry last time. 
And it says I can deflect the power of the black blade. So the projectiles to me, I didn't do. I, I did not hit those projectiles. So it must have been something different. All right, let's get a clean phase one, if possible. Sprinting now, and we're gonna have to dodge in here. Very nice. Can't see anything, I'm gonna have to flask up, and then do some L2s here. One. Okay, he's done. Okay. Nice. That's all right. Very nice. That's okay. You got tagged up there pretty bad. Dodge away. I was trying to get the iframes. Looks like we got him there. Dodge. No, I always jump into that for some reason. Back away. I'm going to flask up. Dodge, 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 swipes. All right, very good. Back away. That has such a huge range on it. Got to be very careful with that one. Back away, I'm going to flask up. Back away. Fix my glasses. There's always an attack I want to punish, and I greedily do it, and I always get hit. Blow up. Yep. Got the iframes, though. Dodge. Dodge. Yep, gotta back away really quickly here. Trying to get to the side of them there, actually. Flask up again. Nice. Man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to even face off with Millennia at this point. I'm going to have to just beat this guy. Crumbling Ferrum Ajla. Let's try that again, shall we? Unfortunately, I wasn't able to even take advantage of the crits on the second phase. Like, I thought I hit him a few times. I'm going to try to do more jumping attacks. And that might actually help me get those, get those attacks in. Because if I can get jumping attacks in, which I feel like they typically uh, weaken the enemy enough to stagger him. And I'll just try that and then I can get the critical, which I already have the charm on. Nice. I'm gonna die. Very nice for him, anyway. Yep, that's a great combo. Whenever I commit to that uh, weapon skill, unfortunately, I can't really move beyond that, so I'm stuck.
Up we go. Malekith has been pretty difficult. The only thing that really drives me crazy is um, it's just you have to get past that first phase and I would love to be able to if possible uh, practice that parry more. Just sprinting like that is always going to be a tough match. Back away here and just flask up. Dodge through, use a weapon skill. Nice. Flask up. What are you doing back there? Nice. I shall not part with it again. I don't know what you're talking about. Probably the Mending Rune of Death. Well, I already have it. <laughs> if that's what you're talking about, I have it. Thea gave it to me. This has been going on for a while, and I've probably been fighting this guy for well over an hour. Probably an hour and a half at this point. Getting fatigued. Sprint again, so no need to spam here. Just be smart. Nice. Flask up, going for the critical. Another critical. Very nice. He's way over there. Oh my gosh, he covered that ground pretty quickly. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so note to self, don't stay too far away because he will uh, he will definitely cover that ground. I thought that was going to be an excellent time to flask because I had defeated, uh, I was going to say Garank, the beast clergyman up ahead. That's fine. Chicken Waggler is back. Oh, yeah, so I had, well, pretty much on the bridge. I had defeated phase one uh, beast clergyman on the, on the bridge like I normally do when I have a good attempt. And whenever he spawns in the middle of the map, it's like, oh, okay, you got plenty of time to flask up and stuff and he does like a, a jumping attack the one that explodes well he can actually leap from that attack and then do a spinning slash i was like nice so he can chain he can actually chain that explosive attack which i was not aware of and that's something we've seen before it's just something that i didn't take note of and now that i've taken note of it we're good now he's gonna be easy okay now he's being friendly I guess because they've been kicking my ass for like two hours now. Get the crit, now we're in phase two. I'm not going to worry about heals, I'm just going to make sure I have the right one equipped though. Yep. He's going to do this right here and slam it around like that. Okay, timed that really poorly, that's okay though. Dodge, dodge, flask. 
dodge. Dodge. Okay, good thing I had my damage negation there. Two, three, and four. That way. One, two, three. Jump away. Oh, we're not. Just get hit. That's fine. Flask up. Flask up. Prepare for the worst. But plan for the best. Jump. Oh, I, that hurt. Nice. Dead. Because I couldn't dodge that super slow attack. That was awesome. If I get hit once, my dodge timing just goes out the window. <clears throat> if I get hit once, pretty much I am going to get hit a second time. Yeah, I know, hence the sarcasm remark on, he's way over there. <laughs> yeah, this dude can, like, he can cover some ground, that's for sure. He can definitely cover some ground. But he did that attack again, that same technique where he launches down, or jumps on his blade, blows it up, and then does that spinning attack. So now we've seen it several times. Dodging to the side will solve that one. I can't believe I got hit with that slow attack. I didn't even try and parry it. I just tried to dodge it, and I just missed my timing. All right, let's do this. Are you going to sprint towards us? Nope, he's taking it nice and easy now. Two, three, four. We'll get our critical in here. He usually dodges that, yeah. I usually miss him just by an inch. Dodge. Very nice. Flask up. Quit worrying about these damn blue flasks. Dodge. Hey, I dodged it. Not that one, though. It's a three hit combo, I see. Ooh, it keeps going. You get hit in the face by that, it's okay. Back away. Dodge. Okay, that one doesn't explode. Nice. That one does. Flask up aggressively here, because I need to. Spam in that R square right there. Back away. You can usually try to parry that or punish that, but not that time. Dodge. Back away. Back away. I hate that attack. It's a massive AoE run. I dodged that way too early, that's my bad. Yikes. Dodge, dodge, blast. Dodge, okay, that was scary. Dodge. Dodge, give me a blast really crazy here. Back away. No, okay, that's scary. Two, three, back away. Alright. Dodge, oh, I didn't dodge that. Yikes, that hurt. Nice, because I miss all those strikes, I'm going to get punished for that. Very good. 
I'm gonna go to the restaurant. I'll be right back. I'm back. I got some toaster strudel too. Mm -mm -mm. I had some toaster strudel my wife made. I just grabbed one right now <laughs> on the way back from the restroom. Alright, let's do this. I should have had them that last time. I panicked. Totally panicked. <clears throat> hey, he came to me this time. Very nice. We'll get the crit. Very cool. Try to dodge, that's okay though. Can't dodge them all. Trying to dodge back to that corner behind him, that didn't work. That's scary. Oh, I got killed anyways. Nice. I healed and then he hit me twice with that spinning attack either way, so I died. Lovely. Man, I don't have a lot of time. I have like... Oh, well, I guess I do. I have like another 45 minutes. 45 minutes of masochism. I won't be able to fight Millennia, and hopefully I can see at least what happens after the uh, fight with Malekith. So, that probably means I need to do another stream, but the thing is tomorrow I have that subathon, so I'm not going to be able to play Elden Ring, or not this file anyways. Have a subathon from 12 to 6 p.m. tomorrow, 
still need everyone to vote, either on the Discord or just here on the chat, so I know what we want to see. I'm either going to do a Sabotage run with Dark Souls 1, uh, or a Elden Ring Challenge run attempt. But, it's up to you guys. Um, that'll be tomorrow from 12 to 6. It's gonna be a lot of fun. If I can pull him again. Dodge. Nice. I'm dead. I was gonna try to heal, and I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna heal right in his face. I definitely tried it, though. So I don't know when I'm gonna be able to beat this game. <clears throat> Probably end up being next week. I've said that like four weeks in a row. It's been a month. Me thinks. I'm thinking it'll probably be, because I can't tonight. I have to do another video tonight on uh, YouTube, my YouTube channel. So I'm going to do a lore video tonight on um, this Elden Ring, of course. And then tomorrow I'll be doing the subathon from 12 to 6. And then Sunday I have to have a, uh, I won't be able to stream because I have a lot of things to do. And then I'll probably pick it back up. But I might stream a little bit on Sunday just so I can start picking up or playing Ghostwire Tokyo. Because my wife did buy that for me, and I'm just wanting to check it out and see it. We played some last night. It was pretty cool. I like the story a lot. Nice. I like how he totally dodged that because of his animation. Man. Dead. You only have four bosses left you need to do in order to complete the game. If you count Malakath. Nice. Okay. Very nice. I won't be able to do that in 45 minutes, though. Especially since it's taken me two hours to beat Malakath. It's just that last phase. The first phase is annoying. That's the only thing. The second phase is really doable. Except i keep missing my attack opportunities like i miss my weapon skills so often like it's it's actually really easy to miss him his little body is it's not nearly as big a target whenever he's uh hunched over as the beast clergyman nice that too early. It's alright. I'm going to flask up here again. Stab him in the ear. <clears throat> alright, here goes. Stab him in the neck or the ear again. Very nice. Yep, gets me every time. Oops, almost broke my toe on the table again. Huh. Back away up or not. I can never dodge those easy strikes. Dodge. A little too early. Nice. Nice. Jump right into that. Back away. This dude is everywhere.
Nope, that was a little too early. Get a GG's for that. Remembrance of the Black Blade. between are shrouded by death's dark fate. But the flames will also burn the impenetrable thorns. Farewell it is then. You'll be Elden Lord yet. Well, that was crazy. Thank you guys for the GG, Sunshine Last. What's going on? Boss Hoggy still got you. Thank you so much. And yes, we did get to watch it burn. That was satisfying considering how freaking tough Malaketh was. 220,000 runes. Let's go ahead and level up. We're going to bump up the arcane. All right. I'm going to kill the neighbor's dogs. Let's see. Just kidding. Probably can't say that. Uh, let's see, what do we do next? So you said that you weren't done with this area. I'm at Lanedale, capital of Ash, okay. You said I wasn't done with, um, the crumbling place. Did I miss a secret or something? Or like a secret boss? I can check the rest of this area and I'll wait for you to reply, but I'm gonna look around in the meantime. This is completely different. Everything's destroyed now. This dude seems sad. I'm gonna remember, um... Behold, the Ur tree yet stands, tall and unwavering, mindless of the scorch of the flame of ruin. Then we are yet golden ones. Yeah, I bet he didn't live to see this day. He did not live to see this day. Alright, so let's continue searching then. The entire capital area has changed. I really hope I got everything. So we have, I don't even know where the hell to go. Let's see. Yeah, the map kind of sucks for this area anyways. No worries, we'll just keep searching around, seeing if we can find an actual path. I am certain that, oh, there it is. There's the path. So we'll head there in just a moment. I'm actually going to mark this. There, for later. Or later okay now we can go ahead and go through beside the great bridge grace is the one you want to go to oh my gosh I almost died okay 
I will go there again. Do I need to jump down on the Colosseum like I thought? Can I use Torrent? Come on. I still can't use Torrent. It's like it's rude to use Torrent indoors. You cannot use your steed in the city streets, even though it's been completely destroyed. Also, I'm going to need to go to the Colosseum because I need to talk with uh, Gold Mask and them again. I imagine that's where they're there. Oh! Is that Brother Corn or is that a bad guy? That's Brother Corn. Oh, it's you. I finally come to understand. The Master was nothing more than a madman. Enchanted by a vain and ruinous delusion, he rejected the perfection of the Golden Order, seeking to supplant our glorious faith with his host. <laughs> Could there be a more pitiable comedy? Look at it. The culmination of perfection. Burning before our very eyes. <laughs> hmm. He's gone mad. Oh, it's you. I finally come to understand. The master was nothing more than a madman. Enchanted by a vain and ruinous delusion. He rejected the perfection of the golden order. Seeking to supplant our glorious faith with his host. <laughs> Look at it. All right. Fair enough. So does that mark my boy over there, Scribe Corn? Okay, very nice. Uh, Chicken says, turn around, take the elevator back down to the church, go past the knolls, make a right and quick left turn and exit the church. Ooh, that's a lot of directions. Okay. I will go back there in a moment then. That's a lot of words. And I won't remember that. What are the gnolls? Gnolls. Oh, yeah. Made that jump. Hero's rune. That's what I'm talking about. That is probably the extent of my rooftop exploration for this episode. Boop. Yep. Okay, cool. So, the scribe was around here somewhere. Right there, to the left, I guess. I still can't use torrent. Thank you so much, Chicken, for those directions, though. I, um... Oh, those are called gnolls? That's interesting. I just called them puppies. I like your term way better. Golden sunflower. What manner of sorcery is this? Nothing. Okay. And... Very nice. I will definitely go back there, Chicken, and check it out for sure. That's actually really exciting. So there was a secret area. I, I figured there was, and <clears throat> I wasn't sure. You said something about the, uh, the the side of grace that I was just at, so I did consider there being possibly a secret there. I fought Recusant Bernal there, too, and I got another legendary armament, which was really cool. All right, this place is massive, but yet to prove its worth, aside from, like, a hero's rune or whatnot. And it's like they completely changed. The capital is no more. <laughs> it was already kind of messed up. There was some, you know, sand deposits. Apparently, there'd been a battle with a, a few dragons or whatnot. But let's go ahead and head back to the intended path. Uh, what about this? I can actually go inside here. Oh, nice. Look at that. Tarnished golden sunflower. There's a hole. Yeah. Okay, I can drop down there, too. Well, that'll go away. I need to mark it over here, then. 
<clears throat> Damn it, I keep doing it. There. I forgot how to play the game. Hold on, guys. Whatever, as long as it's close enough. Alright, so there was this pathway over here we gotta check out that seemingly we could climb up on top of. Got some rune arcs, very nice. Haven't used those at all. We had this pathway way the hell over here. The gnolls, that makes sense. I didn't realize they were called gnolls, that's really cool. Now we know their <clears throat> official name. All right, let's see what manner of items are up here. This is probably the intended path, but if not, then it'll be blocked off. Very nice. Oh gosh, that scared me. All right, very smoky, very smoggy. Let's go back up here. This is where we actually <clears throat> started off. I see, okay, this is where the lift used to be. There was a door over here that... <clears throat> well, there's a... Something down there. Yeah, there's those dudes, the oracular bubble guys over here, and then the bubble envoys, I think. And then we had a lift and a side of grace over here as well. That's nothing. And that door I never did open. I can't imagine it'd want me to go back here. I'd probably have to go drop down in that shunning area then instead. The subterranean area. Yeah, this doesn't make sense. It would be no purpose for us to go back. Unless this has been filled in and it's not. It's still a death trap. So, okay. I guess that's just saying that some of the area has remained at least traversable and you can still explore it to an extent. But most of it is totally shut off. That's the side of grace, all right. I can't believe I can't ride Torrent. That is just absurd. Absurd, I say. All right, let's continue this way then. I'll just really do a quick skim over here. There's probably nothing. And then I'll just go right back to where that hole was. Can drop down in there. But Landale is now the capital of Ash. Oh, there's like everything's dead. Nothing else remains. <clears throat> now, at one point, jumping up on the... Yeah, these guys was important, but I guess it just takes you right back to the other area. Let me see. This was like the West Capital Ramparts area, I believe. <clears throat> I bet some of the Sights of Grace have just gone away too. Let me just double check. Uh, maybe. It still seems to have quite a few. And the good thing is the Shunning Grounds are still accessible. I guess because they were <laughs> reached from like way, way on the other side. And they're underneath as well, so that dude's alive. Little legendary item you got over there, big boy. We'll drop down there in just a moment. This used to have an ambush here. Let's see if it still does. Nope. The tree's all jacked up. I wonder if I can get to the Colosseum from here now. Let's get some rock slings in. These guys are annoying. I'm gonna say I'm pretty sure he can hit me through the walls. I am fairly certain of it. Yep. But I'm gonna spam rock sling all day. I'm not gonna fight this guy fair at all.
Whoa, I totally aimed at nothing there. These guys are very powerful, the Valiant Gargoyles. There was a fight where we had to fight two at the same time, and that was really tough. Spam more Rock Sling, because why not? Tons of health, too. Lovely. Get up. I was trying to menu during a fight. That's not very smart, is it? I need to change my talismans out. to die after all that. Oh. And yet, I died anyways. I wonder what that legendary item is down below. <clears throat> Probably another, like, gl glove wart or uh, somber ancient whatever dragon smithing stone kind of thing probably a bolstering material if he's that strong then he's definitely worth defeating that means there's something he's hiding aside from that item all right so we gotta go all the way back which kind of sucks where's the dragon wing i have to climb up i think it's over here somewhere We can climb up this ladder. We'll drop down and get the goodies. Let's see, that's still pretty powerful. That's fine, I'll actually keep that for the sake of this fight. Because if I can send them with some rock slings, I can inflict the critical and then I can start using my weapon skill as well. is genius. Probably take at least three or four. Oh, bastard. Okay. Take a little bit more than three or four. And R1. Gosh, you got a lot of health, bro. These guys are so strong. Yikes. Nice heal punish. And he'll cover that ground in no time. He can do a really cool yeah, jumping attack that like spins around in the air and dashes towards you. Even though he's like super heavy made of rock, he don't care. He's not worried about physics right now. Still got a lot of health, so we gotta be careful. He's got he's got a great I guess a great axe and 
a twin blade. That's the worst combo. I don't I don't mind the ones with the sword and the great axe. Those are those are doable. Let's see if I can just do a jumping attack on him here. There you go. That was terrible. Alright, now what? Got this over here, got my runes. Yep, somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Very nice. So we pretty much got the one that we had already used. We replaced it. Nothing over here. Okay, everything's kind of just locked off then, blocked off, or somehow inaccessible, which is perfectly fine by me. We explored that. That was the round table hold, like the, I'm assuming maybe the original round table, <clears throat> before it fell out of grace. Let's see, there was a tree root over there, but I guess because... We've destroyed <laughs> the Erd Tree. There's no way back up. That's fine. Can't get back up there either. So the round table holds now blocked off. All right. Let's go back up then. We still have that manhole that we need to search. I think that was the only other path. What are these bros doing? Oops. Okay. This is where the Colosseum was. Where where is uh what's his face? Gold mask. I don't think he's back there. I can just walk back. Might be faster just to do this. Where's the capital vash? Yeah, I'm way the hell in some weird area. So just gonna go right back, go to Brother Corrin's area, and then there's like the uh, that manhole really close by. Okay. Down we go. So there's the manhole right over there. I guess that was it, huh? I'm gonna assume yes. Oh gosh. Oh, that was really easy to miss, actually. I hope this isn't just another way into the shunning grounds. It sure is, actually. But hey, at least we found the secret that we've been looking for. Crimson Amber Medallion 2. Very nice. Okay, that's fine. Jump! Manhole. Hee <laughs> hee. You are a goofball. That's for sure. Yay, we've been here. So I, I don't think I have to go back here. So my bad. Ouch, okay. Let's keep moving on. There's got to be a pathway around here somewhere. Oh, goodies. 
Corrin's bell bearing a flail on Corrin's robe. Okay. Did he just die? <laughs> oh no, he must have not been very satisfied with his uh, his master. Yikes. Bro, I didn't even get to give you my sorcery thing. That's fine. And then what else? He gave us something else. A flail, I think, too. And then maybe his clothes? Corrin's robe. Robe of Corrin the Cleric. Even after exile, Corrin refused to recant his prophecies. And for this, he was blessed with the guidance of grace. Since then, the cartwheel draped on his neck has served as a reminder that true guidance awaits those with iron wills, those with unwavering faith. Man, oh man, was he disappointed. All right. Brother Corn, man. All right, he's dead. Let's see where we need to go. Oh, there's a set of stairs right there. This is kind of where the, uh, whatchamacallit was. The statue of Radigan, I believe. Can't see anything. Always gotta make sure there's not a secret. What are these guys looking at? It's so weird to me. Is this that? Uh, I want to go up that uh, lift in just one second, though. I want to double check that this isn't the uh, the rooftops that I had just explored a few moments ago. And then there was that lower path too, where the uh, what you might call it, where where the initially where we had to go all the way down to find it was really tough and then we finally made it down and it ended up taking us to the lower half of the Colosseum. Okay, there's like nothing else here. Okay. I'm just trying to be thorough. I need to find Gold Mask if he's even alive. Yeah, this was the rooftop that we were exploring. That's fine. If Corrin was nearby, that means Gold Mask is either in the original area or near the Colosseum. I can imagine. Because they were, I mean, he was, I was his master for like three hours. But he just couldn't handle the madness. Where was that pathway? I think it was right around here somewhere. Yeah. Go to the thrones of the previous lords. Okay. If you want to progress through. There isn't a lot of new stuff. Okay. I'm looking for gold mask. I would not mind if you told me where he was at. Because I am... I want to finish that quest line. Corrin's dead. So that means gold mask is somewhere. Oh, big dumb plants. They don't seem to be doing anything, though. You're not bothering anything. <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, I'm going to check at the top of this. Oh, there he is. Ha ha. Oh, he's dead. Mending rune of perfect order. I have like all the mending runes. Can be used to mend the shattered Elden Ring. Rune discovered by the Noble Gold Mask used to restore the fractured Elden Ring when brandished by the Elden Lord. A rune of transcendental ideology which will attempt to perfect the Golden Order. The current imperfection of the Golden Order or instability of ideology can be blamed upon the fickleness of the gods, no better than men. That's 
That is the fly in the ointment. Interesting. Alright, let's quit out because I definitely don't want to have to walk back there again. Hopefully we get it. I mean, I, we already have his mask, so we might not get anything else. Oh, nice. Gold masks, rags, bracelets, and waist wrap. Nice. Okay, very cool. Let's go see what that all is. His rags. <laughs> Worn rags that just barely cover the body. Lord Goldmask felt no draw to the vain excess of clothing. What use is finery to one who seeks greater brilliance? Awesome. Let me get some, uh, a good scene of this bro right here. Oh, I like his undies. Those are fancy. Let's do this. Um, I need to go back then. I'm glad I found Gold Mask. I was just hoping that he would be over here. I don't need the rune since Rani is wife. That's correct. Rani is waifu. But um, I, you know how crazy I am about collecting everything. I'll just use hers. But it's just nice to have them. Especially since you said that it doesn't actually progress you to the next file. A new game plus automatically. That's pretty cool. I can have all, I, you know, that way all the quests are completed. The only thing I need to do is I need someone, like, I, I am going to ask. Like, I'm going to be like, will someone drop me the bull goat set? <laughs> the bull goat set and the whatever, because I, I, I saw what I missed with Patches's, Patches' quest. The bull goat set and some sort of, like, I don't know, whip or something like that. I forget what it exactly it is, but I'm like, I want that. I don't want to have to go through a whole another file to get all that stuff. Especially with this one, I already have everything. If I could just get the bull goat set and that weapon that he gives, I'd be so pleased with that. That is a... Okay, we're going to be fighting a boss, I'm sure. Alright. Uh, Oh my gosh, it's that old mean bastard. Ah, I knew you'd come to stand before the Elden Ring, to become Elden Lord. What a sad state of affairs. I commend your spirit, but alas, none shall take the throne. Queen Marika has high hopes for us, that we continue to struggle unto eternity. All right. You're a sorcerer then, aren't you? Gosh, he can spam sorceries all day. They don't call him all-knowing for nothing. Intelligence 90. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. Not gonna get hit anymore. Except by that one. That was the last one. <laughs> Chicken says, what is the use of clothes, says the dude, while wearing gold and underwear. I know, right? He's like, I, I don't need to worry about the excesses of clothing. Except for gold and underwear with skulls on. That's too funny. Alright, I'm going to kick this guy's ass. Oh, nice. You've got your own boss, Fox, Sir Gideon. I don't like Sir Gideon anyways. He's annoying. He was so rude to Nefeli. You have no poise, old man. If you were all-knowing, you would know to either dodge me or have the nards to poise up. Become a 
Ooh, we got the Scepter of the All-Knowing. The All-Knowing Helm, Armor, Gauntlets, and Greaves. Well, I beg to differ, Gideon. I beg to differ. A scepter in the form of a hand grasping a pearl, signature weapon of Sir Gideon Offnew the All-Knowing. The pearl stands for the world, the heavens, and an eye, representing that many forms of knowledge never fully attainable, even knowing that the All-Knowing's hand grasps for it. Knowledge above all. Raise the scepter to manifest the realm of the All-Knowing. Enemy magic and holy damage negation will be reduced for all within the area, including the caster. Oh, he spammed everything in the world. I just didn't let him cast anything the second time. Uh, very cool. Now let's check out the armor. Yeah, he was, he was, you saw that first attack. I died in seconds. Um, but there's no way I'm gonna let him cast anything. All knowing helm. Helm set with the countless eyes and ears. Worn by Gideon Offner, the all knowing. Knowledge begins with recognition of one's ignorance, the realization that the search for knowledge is unending. But when Gideon glimpsed into the will of Queen Merica, he shuddered in fear. At the end, that should not be. Yep. Very cool. I like it. I like it. That was fun. We beat him in two tries, too. Let's go ahead and grab our however many hundred thousand runes we have and level up a few times. So that's boss number two. You said there's two more bosses left. I need to go ahead and use the rest of these runes because I'm certain I'll be dying here before long. How many do I need to level up? 144, of course. He forgot about him. There's three. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll be damned. I'll be damned, chicken. That, that was a good one, too. I liked it. It was a fun fight. All right, Arcane, 14. Hell yeah. Okay, so, <clears throat> life, what do we do next? I do believe this is where we fought, uh, what's his face? Godfrey. He says, he has returned, the Lord has returned at long last, our very first Lord to brandish the Elden Ring once more. Uh, no. Not quite. I honestly didn't even remember he existed until you walked in the room. <laughs> it happens. It happens. We grabbed this item earlier. We could jump off the roof at some point earlier. Okay. We probably do need to go back to the queen's bedchamber. Okay, nice. So, yeah, I don't think there'll be anything else. I really doubt it. Oh, but the very first lord has returned. Is that what you say? Let's see. I guess we'll find out, huh? Ooh, there's an item. Let me grab that. Erdtree Heal. I don't know why it says discovered. I've definitely been here before, the Queen's Bedchamber area. One of the ancient Erdtree incantations heals a vast amount of HP for the caster and nearby allies. Hold to continue praying and delay activation. The Erdtree once flourished with abundance, yet it was only for a fleeting moment. Such is the curse, the course of all life. Next fight is the best fight in the game. Oh gosh. Oh, I seem to destroy the Millennia's ass too. So pretty much what's going to happen is I'm going to test this boss out. See what all he has. Um... 
I guess it's Godfrey, I'm assuming. And then we're going to have to defeat Millennia. And then I have to do that other thing you mentioned. And I'm going to do that before the end of the stream so I know where the, uh, where it is. In the crumbling Azura thing. I'm going to go there now. Oh, nice. And hard didst thou fight, tarnished warrior, spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. to be granted audience once more. Upon my name as Godfrey, the first Elden Lord, Nice. All right, Godfrey. Okay. You fight just like your Spectre did. Ooh, I need to change my talisman. I don't have any of the good my damage proc and talismans. That's okay. Oh, lovely. You did the thing that Godfrey does. Oh, don't twas me, sir. I'm gonna kick your ass. Just wait. <clears throat> I need to change my talismans, though. So you like this boss. I like that we're fighting the first Elden Lord. That's pretty awesome. That's a very full circle moment, if you ask me. Okay, so now we're going to go to the Rotten Wing Talisman and the Exaltation of Blood. Lord of Blood's Exaltation, there you go. Now I'll give it another one or two tries, <clears throat> and then I'm going to go back to the Round Table Hold, purchase everything I can from Enya, and then I'm going to go to the Crumbling Ferrum Asla, figure out that little secret area, and then I'll be good to go. Next stream I'll defeat Millennia, defeat whatever that other secret area is, and then this guy. I'd like to beat him if I can, though. Yeah, I've seen that before, sir. You and your sumo stops. Oh, this one's gonna hurt. Okay. Yep. There we go. Really held on to that one, didn't you? Couldn't heal fast enough. There you go, got the iframes there. I need to dodge. Dodge. Or not. 
Or just get hit in the face. I don't think I've dodged any of these attacks in the last the second half so far. <clears throat> now, I doubt I can parry any of those. <laughs> that I will not try. He's a little too big. Alright, last try, unless I die instantly. Come on, big boy. Keep doing that little attack. Don't you? Ah, I thought by laying down, you know, the funny thing is, it, it actually, if you get hit while laying down, it counts as a uh, like a punish, almost like a heal punish. So you get that bonus damage. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Anything that that big with an axe and you just know you can't yeah not even close not even close okay cool so that's where the boss is um, I need to go oh, I don't have any runes that's the thing that's fine I need to go to Enya at some point Malekith the black blade I need to go back to the bridge of hell beside the great bridge Right now, I need to go back to your comments. One second. Turn around. Take the ele oh what? Take the elevator back down into the church. Go past the knolls. Okay. Okay. Make a right, uh, go past the knolls, make a right and a quick left turn, then exit the church. Okay. Damn, hold on. Oh gosh, these guys again? Of course, you're all trying to fight me. Oh, balls. I almost fell off. That's probably it over there, isn't it? Okay, let me focus. Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, exit the church. Head straight ahead out of the church towards the cluster of trees and look over the edge. Oh, balls. Okay, I need to go that way then. Sir, that was an excellent hit. How'd you do that? How'd you do that? Alright, cluster of trees, okay. And there should be a platform. Could have sworn I looked down here. Oh hell, okay. That platform. Balls! Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's easy enough. I just couldn't get up for whatever reason. I was not mashing circle though because I didn't want to accidentally leap off the edge. <laughs> All right. Let's try that again. Where am I? Uh... Let's go down. Try that again. Oh, 
Alright, let's do that again, shall we? Run past these geniuses. Go towards the cluster of trees. Sort of. Okay, easy does it. Very nice. I didn't read the rest, but let me just... I'm assuming I platform down. This is awesome. Yes, I was right. It is this way. I definitely would have seen that in the playback and figured out... I've been like, hmm, there's something down here, I think. Because I remember looking at that and being like, that looks very curious. Awesome. Okay, now we just go this way, I'm assuming. Hopefully. Maybe not. Let me read what the rest of your thing says. Oh, okay, never mind. Lie down. Uh, you said follow the copy, blah, blah, blah. The one that doesn't have bones in that approach and look for the lay down. Oh, nice. Oh, that is insane. I'm literally fighting Ghidorah. Dragon Lord Plas Placidusax. Please don't hurt me. I gotta see how much damage I can do this guy. He's getting destroyed over here. Spam any little electricity. This thing is awesome. It's like fighting uh, something from what you call it, Godzilla. Where's your head? Where's your little your little symbol? That's fine. Oh, you have two heads. That's right. Yep. Need the damage negation there. Very nice. I'm sure that's gonna hurt when you slam down. Uh. Come here, yep. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Do it again, aren't you? I have hook claws. Yeah, 
Damn, you and your flames. Yep. I couldn't see him. What are you, Astel? You teach Astel how to fight? And now face the last of the legendary dragons, Dragon Lord Placidicus. Placidusax. Man, that is a cool boss. Now, let's see. Going back to what we had for the other boss. Uh, I think I had that and then enhance. My, where's my warrior jar shard? Oh, upgraded. Shard of Alexander. I wonder if I can get the warrior jar shard. Oh, come on. I have to do that again? There's no stake of America? Yeah, that was amazing. The cool that was definitely the coolest dragon fight. Very unique. I love the fact that it has two heads. Like that is awesome. <laughs> it looks just like the talisman. Don't 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 don't, don't, don't. Oh, okay. You missed. It's like right over here. They need a stake, America. That's just silly. Unless you're just supposed to win your first try, which I could have done, but I just was uh, I lost sight. Definitely lost sight of the creature. You can see it's there. I know, I saw that. The third head was cut off. So it's like, what happened, you know? Like, what happened for, the, like, for all this to take place? And that's probably part of why the place is crumbling. It does look like in the leftovers of an egg, no doubt. Let's get some rest. Really cool you can trigger this cutscene again. Alright, time to die, creature. Funny thing about dragons is they don't like meteor magic or gravity magic either. Please get it. Nope. I couldn't get it. I don't know why. Maybe because I was running. Ooh, he uses wings. I don't know what happened there on the back side of it, but I definitely got crushed. The wings stabbed me, and then I don't know what happened after that. Much better first attempt. Faster pathway. I guess that's fine. It's not a terrible path, but it's annoying. Oh my gosh. Gravity. Gravity. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that as well. Mm, right there. Can we turn to the round table? Hold. Oh, way the hell over here. Who happened, probably. Yeah, I wonder who did that. New items can be purchased from the Twin Maiden Husks. <laughs> okay. Why, why'd you tell me like that? I've never seen that before. I have like 55 bell bearings. Is that what you mean? Sir Gideon. Yeah, that's what I think of your books. I'll give you all these. Mm, 
New things, you say. I guess that. That's new. Okay. Uh, let's uh, get some cash. Get some runes. That'll do the trick. What do we learn from this? Bewitching Branch? Uh, this is by taught by Gideon the All-Knowing. Gideon gained, gained true knowledge after his long exchange with the two fingers, discovering all had been broken long ago, that the trembling fingers bent with age, and the Ur-Tree itself were no exception. Uh, the Fundamentalist describes the Golden Order through the power of regression and causality. Causality is the pool between meanings. It is the connections that form the relationships of all things. Uh, the Apostles were all embraced by the glowing eyed Queen, and the Black Flame was their armor within. Hmm, okay. Now I need to go talk to Enya. This place is getting worse and worse. She's still there. I see. See if Hugh is talking about anything different, probably not. Yes. Yes, you have. Okay, so now we can go back to and yeah, which is over here. Uh, oh, she's dead. The Royal Knight Helm, Silver Helm of Loretta, a knight who served Michaela's Halleck Tree. Loretta, once a royal Carian knight, went on a journey in search of a haven for Albinarix and determined the Halleck Tree was their best chance for eventual salvation. Attire of Moog. Uh, the dress of a luminary, the reigning lord and hierarch of the coming dynasty of Moog, or perhaps of a raving lunatic. Malaketh stuff. Okay, very cool. Uh, Malaketh. A beast armor made of black iron and decorated with gold. Malaketh, Queen America's loyal half brother. Whoa, okay. Malaketh was America's half brother? Bore a blade imbued with death and death, and there was not one demigod who did not fear him. Champions knew what was at stake. Indeed, that is what made them champions. Nice. Okay, I need some, uh, <clears throat> some more runes. Should give us a nice chunk. Okay. Ooh, Malika's helm looks great. That's twenty thousand. You guys are way too expensive. Just kidding. All right. <clears throat> In that case. I can just use a handful of these, right? 12,000 only? It just looks cool, but it doesn't really do that much. be enough we've got Lord of Blood's robe Malekith's armor Malekith's gauntlets and his greaves I think it's all we have left 
You didn't beat the Dragon Lord yet, did you? No, I didn't. I'm pretty much just wrapping up this stream because it's gone way over. I am just looking to see if there's anything else I could buy. So 10,000. Okay. I did not be. I, I almost be in the first. I was like, well, I, I could have. I felt very confident the first try. And then after that, the second try, I got hit by some attacks I hadn't seen before. It threw me off entirely. That'll do the trick. Now we have all the armor. Very nice. Star of Scourge, Omen King, Blood Lord, Black Blade. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader. Alternatively, it can be used to gain great bounty runes. Malekith was a shadow bound beast given to his Empyrean. Merica's sole need of her shadow was a vessel to lock away death and death. Even then, she betrayed him. Hmm. So Merica was just all kinds of trouble. Alright, now. Before I forget, <clears throat> all right, all right. Yeah, I didn't beat him yet. Is this the one that I was looking to do? I think so. There's a rune I didn't activate yet. I think it might be this one. <clears throat> or not. <clears throat> Godric, Rykard, Radon, Morgoth, Moog. Is that it? Oh, I did activate it. Okay, sweet. I had to activate all these then. Okay, nice. Uh, for whatever reason, I thought I hadn't. All right, so the first thing we'll do is we'll kill that dragon thing next, and then we'll do the queen's bed chamber next. Very cool. And then Malakath. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll do Crumbling Ferrum Azula first. Then we'll do Millennia. And then we'll go back to the queen's chamber, finish all that up. And that should be the game, I think. Yeah, America's terrible. I don't know what the hell her problem is. Well, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching today's stream. We went on for about five hours and 20 minutes, so that was a nice long stream for you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget that tomorrow, uh, 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central Time, I will be doing my very first subathon, so I'm really hoping that it turns out. Um, hopefully, you guys can join, at least stop in and say hi. Uh, 25 subs forces me to play uh, Tale of Iron, which is a uh, kind of a Metroidvania type souls-like game that has like a rat creature obviously face forcing me to face my phobia of mice and then if i get up to 50 subs i'll play a plague tale uh innocence and it's literally about like hordes of rats you know and so i will play that if we get up to the 50 subs but if i am like really terrified because <laughs> i'm scared that that's gonna happen but anyways you guys are awesome please be sure to stop by um on uh tomorrow from 12 to 6 p.m central also um we as of now, we have one vote for the uh, Dark Souls 1 Sabotage run. Sabotage is where you guys will pretty much be able to troll me throughout the entire run as I try to beat the game. You make me drop my weapons, uh, return to the bonfires, prevent me from healing, flip my controller, uh, reverse it, whatever you have to do. There's all kinds of things that will just completely wreck my day. But you can do that, or we can do a, ch uh, a challenge run for Elden Ring. So if you go to the Discord, you guys can decide what is going to be uh which which you know which we're going to be doing whether we're going to be playing dark souls or elden ring but anyways it's up to you guys be sure to go to the announcements page and the discord so you guys can just vote just like or just comment it doesn't really matter in the announcements so i put that little thing you can choose however you want to respond you can just write the word of what you prefer the dark souls one run or the challenge run for elden ring and then whoever gets the most votes will do that but anyways you guys are awesome can't wait to see you guys tomorrow and until next time it's the inhuman one signing out